Good evening, Central Indiana, and welcome to Porch Time with your host, Billy. What is up with that freaking hair, dude? Is that your real hair? It is. Seriously, <clears throat> I've uh, send Billy some stars so we can get a haircut. I'm going. Uh, oh, he's growing out. Full blown hippie. <laughs> Slick it back. <laughs> dude, that is. Next time you see me, I'll have little beads in my beard. And... Jeff Price is on. What's up, Jeff? Kevin, Jeff, is that his real hair? Kevin thought it was one of them hats. Lift that hair. hat up and prove to me. Well, if I do it, then I'll never get it back the way it, the way it is. <laughs> it's real. It's spiky. I, I shits you not. It's a family show. Just like the shirt about says. your dogs. <clears throat> Looks like I missed the train. <laughs> What's up, Trace? Hello, James. What's up, Big D? Anything going on? No, How's the vegetable? Good. I seen your your little one had her uh, vegetable stand out. Yep. Um, I told her. I said, "Look, like we we plant the seeds, and um, I don't know towards the tail end of winter before spring really hits, and I kind of keep up on them and everything. And then we plant them, and I told her. I said, I will uh, look." Right off the bat, G. Hello, Teresa. Brian, what the hell is that hair doing? <laughs> so I told her, I said, Tell him, G. I'll, I'll keep up on it and everything. And I said, and if you want, I said, we'll, we'll make you a little, little vegetable stand or produce market or whatever. And I thought, like, we did it for, I said we'd do it for an hour. And she she wouldn't do it. Like she, she wanted, she wanted to keep going. I was like hot and ready to go inside. And she's like, "No, we still got stuff." I'm like, "Did she sell them all?" Yep. There's so, some good, look, good looking fruit in there. I Vegetables told, in there. I mean, I did you go to Kroger Park? <laughs> no, I might have to though because people were like, some some lady messaged me and said she wanted a, a half bushel of cucumbers. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna make that happen. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a little little garden. Can anyone recommend a good lawyer? Also, also looking for a travel agent for an upcoming trip. Just, Where are you going? Is this leading into something? Uh, you know it is, but no. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to take the bait. What's the lawyer for, and where are you going, Jeff? I feel like I'm being sucked into it. Hello, a Ann. I know, yeah. What are you drinking? Uh, that was a Coke. Sweet tea? Coke, man. I had a fight and a headache. Couldn't get, couldn't get rid of it. Probably because that hat's too tight. I hadn't had my caffeine. His head, his head, your hat would fit that melon, I guarantee it. It would. Now I try. Yeah. Hey, there's there you go, Jeff yeah, Ann Miller. She's a travel agent. Travel agent. There you go. This is what our show's about. Another successful day on Porch Time. Go. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Ann's always like exciting is places Cecilia, too. Is Cecilia, travel agent. Why am I thinking that? Uh, no. Ann Ann is. Ann does. Bug my teeth. Gotta go I know Ann travel. is. She's done that for a long time. Gotta go. Yep. Where it is. Gotta yep. go. But she's always like some cool beach somewhere and and uh, nice nice luxury hotels. She'll hook Jeff up big time. I've I've not been to a cool beach. <clears throat> well, it looked cool. Every every time she shows a picture, it's like some nice fancy beach and ocean front. Are you serious, Julie? Uh, with hot destinations. hot destinations. Hot destinations. Is that down in Florida? Julie Hot. Is her name really seriously Julie Hot? Could you imagine I that? No idea. That's got to be her name. stage name. Hot destinations. Mm. Anyway, I hope I'm on a cool beach here in a couple weeks. Are you going south? Aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you, aren't you going to Florida? I think we like. We don't do much vacation. Julie Hot is family. <clears throat> nice hair, Patty says. Thank you, Mom. Family is like related to you? Is she from this area, G? When you leave for Pensacola? Week after the fair? Yeah. Hey, big announcement. Or the week of the fair. Yes, or that's the her name. Ending of the August 6th. Hey, Porsheim will have a booth at the fair this year for the first time ever. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, the first time ever? First time. Oh, uh, like your own booth. My own booth. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah, all right. Nice. Yeah. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I sh shizu not. Is there room for my beard? 
No. Matter of fact, your beard can't come in the booth. <laughs> Are you going to bring beard oil? I can. We need that. Yep, my aunt's wife. She lives in Martinsville? I was wanting to know about it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Uh, I haven't been out that way in a while. They, they did Tur- a lot of work out there, didn't they? And see, the funny thing is, the uh, I remember you a, caught a, my head with a hook out there one time. I remember they do all this stuff for the Grassy Fork area, and I'm like, in Sharma States, Dad helped dig that lake, and there was a member for our family that worked at Grassy Fork, lived and worked there since 1953. And I brought that up when they were doing some stuff out there one time, and they they like blew me off. So after that, I was like, okay, I know every inch of that property from Morgan Street to Lincoln Hill. To the park and back, but never mind. <clears throat> That's only where I grew up. But hello, Teresa Mesmer. <laughs> How you doing, Teresa? Are we selling a booth with Crime Watch? Crime Watch. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Is it co- cops for cupcakes? There's what is that? They are having cupcakes. cupcakes cup cupcakes with cops at McDonald's. When. Wow. It's a mouthful. He said mouthful. <laughs> at McDonald's? Why would you yes. have it at McDonald's? Why wouldn't you have it at yeah, that Sarah's Goodies or, or Need the Dough or, or Kroger Deli? Oh, uh, for the sitting for stars the for the hair. Thank it's going to take more than 200, Patty, but thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> doing well. Just finished Whoa. walking eight miles. Holy cow. Trace, wow. I don't even like driving that far. Really? She probably walked at Love Creek. Last year, anyone seen Big Mike? No, nope. oh, I have not. Gosh. Um, you knew that would come. Up. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, she was out. Of, that was about as far as the walk was uh, out to Fifteenth Fairway. Fifteenth, Fourteenth, way yeah. out there in the back of Bluff Creek. Well, Trace is going to be coming in and doing a show here directly. I got to get her lined out. Huh? Yeah, like a real estate show once a month. Thank you, the Sharma States. <laughs> oh yeah, Anne's Anne's yeah. out there too. Yep. My dad could have told you a lot about that area, and, and myself. We are they we still grew up in the ponds? There. Are they still the lower house is gone? All that's gone. Really? Yeah, that wasn't even half mile. Wow, that seemed like a lot farther than me. That <laughs> was eight eight miles of Kevin's. Mm-hmm. Up the hill was eight yeah. miles. <laughs> there used to be some good hills to sled out there too. You guys should go mobile from Corey's Jeep. He's not in the Jeep because it looks like it's getting ready to rain, Jeff. I've or had, we would have. I've had the top off for like. Three, four weeks. So. Nope. Big Mike yeah. used to play uh, play music. Play the sax, didn't he? Uh, he play what guitar. Did he? With, with the long neck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Port Time's going to have a booth out the fair. We're right. going to be right across from She's Nuts. Remember yeah, what's she- that? Um, George's Broyers, I thought the organ. Maybe he did. <laughs> the organ player. Yeah. Um, remember the peanuts? She sells right there at the front entrance of the left when you come in. I, yeah, she sells the little bags of peanuts. Haven't been, you haven't been I, to the fair? I know. <laughs> She's nuts. That's right across from D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was coming. Yeah. Uh, why when I'd say let's go live, well, we have to partake in You asked she me to come like, over. I know. She got pecans. Or <laughs> yes, she does. She has some delicious. She's had that booth out there forever. Her roasted nuts are delicious. I'm late. <laughs> you bring a anyway. Little... She's nuts. We're right across from her. Bring a bar stool, man. <laughs> yeah, you used to be out there playing. Bring your geek duck. Oh, man. wait a minute. You're man. working on something, right? What's you got a new song? Are you working on? I mean, I know you got a new gig. He's got an all all band, I think. Oh yeah, I built a a suitcase drum, and I've been. It's not completed yet, but I'm. Are we gonna start on YouTube with your own band soon? Maybe. Hello, Julie. One man band. Maybe one day, man. What's the name of your band? D's. D's. D's band. (laughs) D's. (laughs) Oh man. No, for real. Like it's it, it is. Uh, Logan's gonna be out there set up and, and some days doing her tinsel and stuff. Larry's gonna drop some flyers off. Just right in yeah, because I know right I know where he was going. <laughs> no, he's trying to explain his. Oh my suitcase drum. Oh, like let's I, hear it. 
No, I just. Have you I not built, seen the guys on TikTok? When, I, when I'm all done, I've seen the guy. He's he's trying to imitate. Yeah. I'll, I'll, well, I'm not there's trying to guy. imitate anybody. I'm just trying to. It's fun, man. It, it's like <laughs> challenging. But those like, guys can play everything. The guy that I went and watched, he he's that's probably like a five thousand dollar foot drum system he's using. But he's a street performer and he does everything himself. He broke a cymbal in the middle of a song and was like. I can play, but I, I... How do you break a cymbal? I, he hits it hard, I guess. He's hitting it hard. But he's like, I'll give... He said, give me a minute, and I'll... He said, I'll start the song over, and we'll do, but I want, it to, I want it to sound good. So he jumps off there, gets a little wrench, and goes to work on it, pulls it <laughs> off, puts a new one on, jumps back up there, and he starts pounding the drums. He's like, all right, let's go. And incredible show. Guy's from so, so London, and, and he's, he's on his first ever tour through America, and... Will you have your own fans only page? I, I can do that right now if you want. With that hair, you probably <laughs> with the, with the suitcase drum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is not a good idea. All right, so Booth, we're going to have special appearances by Logan's going to be there. Teresa she said she might stop by. Do some. She said she will do the tinsel stuff. Did you see that? She's like charging. Yeah, I know it. She's got to do that. Dude, we need to frost your tips on air. I don't know about that. Tips. I said tips. Because you, you can wax Rob wax. says he frosts his tips in here every week. <laughs> yeah, well, he's probably nice and warm this week. Yeah, he's going to miss Florida. We didn't have a show money, so he's, yeah, he's on a beach. Uh, That show Saturday was incredible. Oh, yeah, I did not go. I had to work. Both bands were really That really was good. the Tom Petty and the... And I know we usually sit kind of off to the side because we got the tent and stuff, but I sat over by Ferguson and, uh, man, the sound is just, that's, if you're going to, if you, if you, right there in the middle, Brad's got that, that sound dialed in, man. He's good at, he, um, three semester, we did it, 400 for the hair. For the hair? Wow. Um. Next hey, concert's hey, hey. the 23rd, and it's Toy Factory and Jambox. I've seen Jambox. I've, I've seen them both. Seen Toy they're, Factory. they're very good. So, 23rd. There's not one this week. No. And then, then you miss another week because of the fair, and it's August 6th, which is the last day of the fair. I missed that one. Earth to Mars and Soul Street. Oh, that's the Bruno Mars one. Uh, get this. How were the beer lines? <laughs> 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 I didn't get any beer. Hello, it was Christine. just me and Ryan. So uh... Nolan Baker's on here and Tim Burnham. No bake. Nolan Bake. Hey, look, um, Logan's on there. Logan's. Oh, mine must be delayed. I didn't know you got her little. Yeah, Billy, come over and put it in. I need. Sponsor. I need to go over sponsors real, real quick. Oh, somebody just gave stars. Yeah, Somebody's activated a stars party. Kathy Hahn. Woohoo! stars. Woohoo! Thank you. <clears throat> Did we activate it? Let's activate. Let's activate it. it. Yeah. By oh, there's so much you gotta get to a uh, certain level, but I don't know. I wanted to see that Earth to Mars. I oh. Bruno Mars trivia band. Mm-hmm. Is it the same? It's not the same guy that does Prince and Michael, mm. Michael Jackson. That guy's talented. No, so, so, yeah, I've, I saw the uh oh, so are we Patty, doing this? Woo-hoo! Are we doing the stars? Let's go. I think we're trying to hit 10,000 today. Yeah. Bum, 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 America Basement bum, Solutions one eight seven seven four zero nine two eight three seven. Three hundred more. Let's get it. Fathom yeah. Real Activate Estate. Teresa Mesmer seven six five three four one eight nine one one. She will have her own show in studio here very soon. So I'm going to see ZZ Top, and the next night the ZZ Top tribute band's playing at Cedar Creek. I'm gonna be ZZ Topped out by the time. Patty is like. Whoa. Woohoo! Killing the stars tonight. Thanks, Ma. She really wants me to get a haircut. I guess so. Well, I Drink the Creek, Cedar Creek, June 23rd is the next concert. So I got Bruno Mars tribute band. Somebody to fill in, huh? A new guy? Well, Wayman's. I mean, yeah, they're good. 765 342 4339. Oh, we go. There it is. Just the guitar tech started filling Woo-hoo! in last year. Thank you, Teresa. And, uh, the, they, yeah, they just picked up and just kept going. Oh, Findup.org. We just missed it. Who? Did it we went, get it? Oh, did I miss the stars it? just went flying across the screen. Nice. Thank you, guys. Fighthelp.org, Judge Williams. Someone was online the other day asking for help for money-wise and stuff like that. I know, exactly. And I, I wanted, I could, I was at work, and I just glanced at it and didn't have time, but I wanted to tell them. Hey, Wendy. Go to fighthelp.org if you need help. Wayman's first blast mattress, 765-342-4339. Our buddy Mark, stop in there. Hey, he's probably hiring somebody again today, and he, and they've got deals going through the end of the month. 
Wayman's went, the main the state in, in this community forever. He's been on double C I was on, I was on Facebook Trouble. Wellspring, 765-346-6661. I, I made, well, I made a comment the other day and I got in trouble. It it's the same comment that you made and about it's me. Comfort System, 765-346-0195. I got a message. I was like, what, what did I say? Logan's Cosmo <laughs> at Hair Divas, 765-318-3388. She's got a big sale going on right now. Like five bucks for kids. Oh, boy. Lord be its raining. Rain. I know. I, I stand corrected. Five bucks for the tinsel and five, five bucks for a haircut for kids through the end of the August. The new look going back to school. And of course, Hoosier Web Nerd, 317 640 4398. That'd be the sponsors. We thank you and appreciate each and every one of them. Because without that, we couldn't come in here and. Uh, Me too. Me too, around. Wendy. Mine's a zero. Mine is zero. What were you saying now, Billy? I'm sorry. I interrupted you. I said it was raining men. Hallelujah. It's, who sung that? Uh, that was the Weather Girls. <laughs> that is exactly right. When is that? Hey, for your information, trivia. Trivia, trivia, trivia. What's the first song ever played really? on MTV? Oh, that's Dire Straits. I no. Nope. Oh, nope. no, 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 no. Video, uh, video yeah, 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 yeah. killed the radio star. When is that ZZ Top one, Billy? The t- August 20-something. Oh, I'm going to miss that one, too. You're not going to see Z. I tell you what, that, I watched them. Point. They're good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. August 6th. You're not going to. August 27th? Where are you going to be then? How long you stay in Florida? <laughs> so a week, but then that's our anniversary week, and we're going down to Gatlinburg. There you go. Mama Bank head Jeep, to Gatlinburg. Jeep Invasion. Freebird and Eliminator. I wanted to see both of them for tomorrow. You think they're going to play Tush? Freebird was really Oh, they better good. play Tush. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe they'll bad. pull me up on stage and let me sing it. I've been good. I doubt it. That's That'd be bad. pretty cool. They're pretty good. Like, but then the next weekend is the like, Labor Day weekend. I, I, I yeah. Garth Brooks is coming to town. The I'll, Garth do, Brooks. I'll do like that dude did it. Uh, I'm going to Perdido Key, Pensacola, wherever. You get the same. They marry. Him. That's not far from him. I don't think. I think he's down there, aren't you, G? Uh, Jenny's opened up the Airbnb there in Pensacola. Well, I'm kind of, it's like on the Alabama Florida line, so I don't know. September 3rd. I'm going I'm to look for that Baker. That town Baker, of Baker. Florida, Alabama. Is it Baker, Alabama? I'm no, gonna... no, it's Baker, Florida. Just past yeah, I, I didn't think he was close to there. My bad, G. <clears throat> yeah. Are you on the Gulf Coast, though? Or south? Well, Are you on the Gulf rain, Coast or the uh, East Coast of Florida? There you go, Cheryl. Need a little rain. I want to see it. See? The ultimate Garth my, Brooks tribute. That's out in my area. An innocent man. Oh, look at there. Coach Duggar. Woohoo! It was raining, but it's not raining. Well, here. that's the Thursday then before. Oh, hang on. Uh, hang on. Oh, no, that's a Friday night. Hey, Mom. Easy Red, now. Blue game, August 5th. Great way to kick there off the weekend before the concert on the 6th. There you go. There you go. Patty. Just... Boom. Thanks, hey, Coach. Hey, Mom. He's up on that. Oh, you can buy me breakfast. Get you back in here. Yeah, Billy needs breakfast in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's 45 go. minutes south of Tampa. Yeah. Ooh, Tampa Coach, we got to get you in here with some of the players and talk it up. Good old golf coast. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up. We need to have well, that's in what three, four weeks. You believe that? It's already three, here. Three and a half weeks, maybe. Mm. The sep- September third weekend is the ultimate Garth I'm Brooks tribute band, the Innocent Band, Duke Tomato and Jenny DeVoe, Kid me. Kentucky, Big yeah. Country, Gene Deere and Gordon Bonham, and Phil Perley Trio. Gonna suck. <laughs> it's gotta be yeah. And, and are you playing like early? Or yeah. are you playing the new just the, new, the guitar country right, type yeah. of stuff? Got to do that. We got to make that happen, Coach. Get you and some of your uh, personnel in here. That'd Good be fun. Peyton Collier was up here. He didn't get to play. I know. I was down. hoping to ah, get him on. Was he I, in Mooresville? I almost messaged him to have him come on that he was night. Supposed to be, yeah, Friday night at Mooresville. That dude is such he an entertainer. He's got a bunch of shows at Old Reds and stuff in Let's Nashville. See. You see that lineup he's got? That's down in Nashville? Oh, yeah. You want to go see? He can play anything. Like he mm. he said, he had over a thousand songs memorized. Oh, I bet I'm he's like, got more than that, dude. How do you do that? I think just probably. I got like Def Leppard, a few of them, and Garth playing. and Toby, and that's. I don't think I've it. ever sang a song right completely all the way through in my entire life. Coach, I will do that. Driving in the get car. Get you in here. Sitting. Dude, in I don't think I sing the songs wrong. I think it's a Mandela effect, and they change the words somehow. Who was it that put the Chick-fil-A thing on? Me! 
Dude, that was never been. So it's not C H I C. It's C K now. When has it ever been Chick C H I C K? I think it was that. Yeah. Never. It was C H I C fillet. Now it's Chick fillet. Hmm. No. No. Hmm. They're messing with us. They started up that particle collider over in CERN, and now we're getting all these weird things happen. <laughs> so something's going on. We could talk. I could get on this all night. We'd have had to pronou- now Wait, pronounce it. like Chick-fil-A now? No, it just, they changed the name and said, no, we didn't. And I'm like wanting to go out and dig through the dump out there and find an old cup. cup. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you did. <laughs> Somebody's got something somewhere with C-H-I-C on it. Yeah, I guarantee I it. Was C-H-I-C. And then they yeah. said there was never a hyphen on the Kit Kat bar. I'm like, I'd have bet Billy's right arm that there was a hyphen on the Kit Kat it's bar. It's not good anymore. I don't know if that was ever good. Well, you're stranger right now. <laughs> We're not going to use Hoskins, right, Art? Because he can't. <laughs> we know. He has to throw he, from, he, like, okay. from third base. He gets oh, a cut from the pitcher. That big seven foot dude at Brain Chills. Talking smack about Billy playing football. Uh, what? Oh, it was <laughs> DeMoss's kid. That dude's a monster. He's nine. Oh. Connor. He's nine and he's seven he four. He had to squat down walking through Brain Chills. Don't you like, remember him from Little League? Yes. He was like the six. It was six but foot. And, he's Herman Munster. Now he's a man. He's like, oh, he's like, huge. He's six eleven. Can't even fit through the door. Oh, he's, he's, so yeah, he's a big kid. And he's starting to like learn how to hit a softball. He like, should be able to hit the ball from here to more. But it's one of those things where you 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 got to figure it out. It is. And it's a different swing. But I remember the first time I saw Harry hit a softball. I was like, oh, my God, dude, you're going to have to get some control. You're going to kill somebody. <laughs> Harry hit the ball as hard as anybody on the planet but had no idea what no, he was doing. No, I would no never idea where it was going. Now, he did. Eventually, he yeah. got. But when he. Smizer. He, he was. All he did was he work out and drink water. Just a few years before we all quit. <laughs> yeah. Quit playing. But <clears> he <throat> would. St. Martin's. Oh, first. He would hit. Ground, no. no he, he would hit ground balls so hard that I'm like, oh, I feel sorry. He had a big beard and long hair, and he always mm-hmm. worked out. At, and he's uh, extremely fast. Now, he wasn't buck fast, but he was fast. Well, he was fast, but he was like. He tried to beat the ground up the when same, he ran. It was the same thing. Like, he did everything just brute force, and, like, that's how he mm-hmm. ran, too. Like, I Yeah, there was no absolutely zero finesse in, in anything he did. But he started. He started getting it and putting it all together, and he started hitting the ball like really hard where he wanted to. I seen him. <laughs> yeah, he just. I think he's in Florida now. He he moved down there. I think so. And then what's his name? Big kid um, that played with us right there at the end, who learned to crush the softball too. Plays now he plays for all the big teams in Indy. Not maybe not now he's older, but. Um, what's up, Eric, Nick? Eric York? No, <laughs> York could always crush the softball. <laughs> Oh, the big kid uh, came. Him and um, Patrick Owens. No, he's as big as Connor. Do you know him? Doggone it, Willie Stanton. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Remember, you just bat my dad used back in '84. <laughs> yep. I think me and Eddie were the only two people that still had one of those blue TPS bats. And then, he, then he pull out that ceramic. If you thing. hit that sweet spot, it'll oh, yeah. that big. It you would, hit that, it'd go across that, the southbound lane. That quarter inch sweet spot, it, it'll go. But that's hilarious. I'm trying to figure out who this giant kid Dog is. Doggone it. Smith, and Alex, what was his name? The big kid. You knew him. You, you the one that introduced him to the team. Hmm. And now he plays, he wore the floppy hat all the time. He'd get picked up by the Pacers, uh, pictures on Barstool. Oh, Neil. Neil. Yeah. yeah. He, he hits the ball <laughs> he, really hard. Now he crushes it. Yeah, he's actually helping. He, he was the assistant coach this year for softball with the girls. Yeah. So, yeah. He can that destroy a softball. A ball. But when he was younger and still had that power and had no, like Harry, he could destroy a softball. But you could throw him inside and somehow he'd line it back at you. And I'm like, dude, I'll never pitch to you again. I don't care. He was, uh, he was actually a meme for the Pacers. There. Yeah. He, got, he, yeah. he was like, yeah. When they had like one of those he iconic. He could destroy a softball. Yeah, he still can. Yeah. I don't think he hit it as hard as Harry. He's got videos he where he hits it and it disappears. Yeah. Like it's just like. He goes to the batting cage a lot and he was filming it forever. And he was learning, learning to hit. Outside pitch, hit it out right field. Inside pitch, hit left field. And he was just tearing the cover off the ball. I was like, that guy's... But he's 6'4", yeah. mm-hmm. 300 pounds, too. There's some guys on TikTok, though. 
they try all these different bats out. Do you see the velocity? Yeah, the <laughs> 100, 109 miles an hour. I'm yeah. like, that's why I don't do that anymore. And they look just barely swinging. A lot of them are going to a cage in front of the pitcher now, too. And I'm like, I'd still be doing uh, oh, it. A net or something. I'd still be doing it if that was the case. If I had a net. I What's up, Steve? Pitch a net. No. Well, no more. I think about the time I, I was kind of shifting out of it, they were wearing helmets and catcher's gear and stuff. I was like, if I got to do that, I'm definitely not pitching. Like, I mean, I, I get it. I'd go out there in the Barry Bonds outfit. <laughs> well, <laughs> people are like, man, I'm sorry. Pads, and it's like, if I pad, didn't guards. think I could fill the position, I wouldn't be out here. But So you don't have to be sorry, but like, I, I don't feel like be- I want to wear all that gear and pitch. Like I quit at 45 because someone lined one back at me. My body said, hey, line drive. My muscles were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we see it. I got and, hit. And I went like this, and it was already past me. And I was like, okay, quick quick reaction. The muscles are gone. I'm not doing this anymore because that <laughs> it nipped my ear. I got hit <clears> in <throat> baseball the last year I played. Line, is, see, he didn't tell us this. This is why I quit playing. Line, no, it was, a, it was a line drive right back. It was like a one hopper off my shin. And I was thinking, that hurt. That was... <laughs> it wasn't nothing I was going to do. It was just on me. On top. I, mean, I couldn't realize... Move. How quick it goes away, and you don't realize it's gone. And it, well, and it, it didn't need it. It didn't hurt so bad either because I was kind of like going with it. So like I was kind of like it kind of like absorbed it, and some of my pant did. But I yeah. was like, and well, that could have been bad if that was like at my chest or my face. Like it, I mean, it hurt enough off my shin. <laughs> like well, after after I quit completely, and I hadn't played for a couple years, I'm taking Logan to pitching practice. I'm standing behind the net. Rookie dad standing behind the net. Don't stand close to the net. Like, don't put your fingers in the fence. It lights up, Patty. Well, <laughs> no, there's a light above there's it. There's a light right there. It's like, like, don't put your fingers in the fence at the ball diamonds. Yeah. Well, I'm standing too close to the, to the net, and she's pitching to an actual catcher. And she smokes. Oh, at a batting cage. No, she's at actual pitching practice at Center. They got a, Where they got a net at? At Centerbrook, inside there, inside that gym. Now it's all set up. Oh, that's it what I mean. Like be. a batting yeah, cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's in there pitching, and she smokes one in there, and the catcher completely misses it, and it ricochets off that carpet and hits the net and smokes my shin. Oh, you're behind. The I'm behind the catcher, behind the net, and to this day, I have a. Spot on that shin that woohoo, Patty. Hey, now Ooh, breakfast for you. No, nope. really, there goes an egg biscuit. <laughs> Hopefully, Wendy's will have the buy one get one tomorrow, yeah. or else no. <laughs> to this day, that left shin is like, dude, you're good. Don't ever, <laughs> don't ever get hit there again, or you might flatline on the spot. Yeah. It. I mean, the, the nothing was worse though when she. Uh, I was catching her, and she pitched one a drop ball, and it hit the plate right below the bucket. Oh, yeah. And did a ninety degree straight up. Mm-hmm. I crawled to the dugout, and ball she's like, "Dad, <laughs> it was ball three. <laughs> Night, Patty." See ya. I crawled to the dugout, and she's like, "Get up, Dad!" And I was like, "When I do, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to skin." <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Never mind. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Maybe the, an ice pack. That's the worst feeling in the more uh, world. What's up, Becky? So anyway, poor son's gonna have a booth at the fair. Billy's gonna be out there playing Knight Rider. Could. I mean, you just look your. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just make the video right there. You could. You just sing about people. We could bring our big camera. Ooh, there you go. There goes a guy in a green hat and a black shirt. He's got. And then right on camera, you'll see somebody. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) But I know Logan's gonna be out there uh, doing her tinsels if if people want it. Passing out cards. Larry said he's going to leave some cards there for American Basement Solution. <clears throat> Teresa Mesmer is going to be out there. So with the fair coming up, they don't do it so much at the county fairs, but the state fairs. Do you remember the Barkers and the guys that would like entice you to like play a game? They try to make you mad. Like at the video they show on TikTok where the guys are at the dunk booth. Yes. Yeah. That guy gets carried away though. Oh my god! Like, what's up, insane. Mr. Hester? How we doing, uh, sir? Yeah, like I'm surprised that dude walks out of that that <laughs> joint because like he is firing the whole crowd up, 
and everybody's wanting a piece of that guy. But he's but that's what the carnies used to do. They used to nice you your money to get you to play the game. And and, and there's a fine line. But you. Those guys, they want a piece of him more, but they're they're trying so hard to dunk him that they lose all their here, and they keep throwing money, and it's like, dude gets exactly what he wants, so he takes a quick little dip in the water, and pops right back out. Thanks yeah, for the and, 50 and he bucks. just made fifty bucks off <laughs> right. of him. He gets, he gets to fall in the water on a hot summer's night. Right, night. right, and he's making fun of you the entire we time. We did that dunk booth during the oh yeah during that the was relay, relay for life. Relay, did you yeah. get in it? I think I was in it. I think Ryan was the first person to get in it. Yeah, and by the time I was going to get in it, it looked like somebody had uh, we, we were, used it for a bathroom, and I wasn't going to get in it. <laughs> yeah. It's just a candy bar. Why is the water yellow? Uh, so, yeah, I remember the kids, the balls got wet. and What's up, Natasha? They were using leather balls, mm-hmm. and uh, they got wet and slimy, and kids were just... Unloading them and throwing them into the yeah. into the. They're uh, going four blocks down the road <laughs> into the merchants' tent. <laughs> well, I, I knew you'd get to this. We put together a fishing Ooh. tournament. I, I think we should do that next spring. I think we should put together a fishing tournament mm-hmm. next spring. How you doing, Natasha? Hello. If we do that, Hester, you want in? You want to be part of the group or part of the fishing tournament? Part of the group that puts it together. Big lake or just uh, we, we that's for the group to decide. I will we not can... ever fish with Kevin again. I caught Billy's back of his head one year, <laughs> and I told him, "Don't stand here, stand here." And he stood where I told him not to stand. Next thing I hear, ah, a senior retreat is doing a fishing tournament wow. in September. One hundred percent on both. Well, we didn't know about that. Oh, where are they doing? I'm gonna have to talk to her. Where are they doing the fishing tournament at? Now that's probably for the. The seniors at mm-hmm. well, I don't know tournament. Chris, what if we know. what if we put something together for kids and had maybe the any any PD LEOs in the area that want to get involved? Is the park stocked or they let kids fish there, right? Fundraiser at Bradford was that'd be cool, Teresa. Uh, the park would be ideal. Is it like catch and release, or I mean, do they have fish? Do I wanna, thought they stopped. Do you want to eat something out of there? Is that what we're getting <laughs> I'm at? just saying. <laughs> is there? I worked at the stuff? park, and I walked that whole pond. It is like really that that. Place, Hello, Christine. Done, green or something. Yeah, they've, green. they've they've colored it. It looks really nice. Now there's a, a fountain, fountain, fountain in the middle. It looks a hundred percent better. Big old carp. Still Ten in bucks there? if you get in there and get in that fountain. I did when I was a little kid. I fell in it. I worked there and walked the entire <clears throat> pond cleaning it out one year in the water. But that was nasty. It wasn't bad. Teams need one senior and one 12 under. That's awesome, Teresa. I didn't know anything about that. I'm going to have to have her on to advertise that. Mm-hmm. Hello, Shelly. Any of the Bass and Gals puts on a kid's sermon. That's amazing. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. We need to do something like that, Chris. What's uh, Is that it. a top fan badge, Shelly? Lake Lemon. That would be an interesting. But see, what, what, what I don't want to get into is having to pay lake rights mm-hmm. to somebody and then none of that. City Park would be free. Lake de Turk. Lake de Turk, probably. Well, we have to ask Jeff to get his lawyer on the conservancy out there. But You got. Um... They cut away some of that, right? What the park? No, out at Charmin. Charmin? That that one wow. beach that we used to always go to. It's just overgrown. Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought they maybe they filled it in or something. But yeah, that's a def- that's definitely a nice lake. But I mean, for control purposes, the city park would be perfect because it's, it's all right there. Right. right. Yeah. You don't want to have to worry about. I mean, you want to keep the kids out of the water for one. Back when it. So had how would you do that? Would you have a like back on the park? Oh wow! Really, forty pound flathead. Now that would be awesome. Now years ago, when they used to do the the fishing contest, Timmy and I camped up there one night because you could back then sleep in your little tent or get there at crack of dawn. There were people in tents, 
And some little five-year-old kid caught like a 30-pound carp right in front of us <laughs> and won the carp, tournament. They, they pulled and out. And one of little Daffy Duck poles. When we went to... Uh, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? We're doing the Wheaties <laughs> balls and all that. And when we went up to Indiana Beach we got to with see the Grandpa, pit. dude, they were reeling them carp out of there. Oh, like, no, that was insane. Those fish were... The, mm-hmm. <laughs> that was just crazy. Yeah, what well, the old was... phrase, pick or it didn't happen. Monsters up there to park. But I don't know they what they put in it now. Does yeah, anybody know? know? Well, just, oh, yeah. I heard they Can't stocked it with crappie. Crappie. Esther be like, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. No, watch. Next week, I mean, he'll be out in a boat in the Larry park. Ralph's got mm-hmm. good fishing spots, too. Might, uh, Does he? Well, we're supposed to be doing that fish fry with our buddy from Kentucky. Oh, that's right. That's supposed to have happened. And crappie. Larry said we could catch a lot of crappie and fry them up. We need, we need to get with Larry, then. That mm-hmm. might be where we go. But, mm-hmm. Hester, I will get with you. Uh, we need to do something like That'd that. That'd be fun. That'd be fun, fun and something different. And maybe find a whole new organization to uh, do that for and with. That'd be fun. Mm. Just think what Wheaties does to your gut after you say, right? <laughs> 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 that, that Wheaties and Honey Mix? Eh, I never went back to that after <laughs> After doing, but dad would have hot dogs, corn, Wheaties, whatever he could find in the cabinet, we'd take down there and try to use. And <laughs> yeah. you'd always have the one guy, what I got 45 pound test, you know, why? <laughs> what, what do you want? You catching jaws today? <laughs> and I'm on a Zebco 202. <laughs> I probably had a Snoopy reel or something. <laughs> no, you didn't have a pole. You had a hook in the back of your I had head. a cane pole, is what I had, <laughs> and a bobber. And probably a hook that was like this big, <laughs> with the wire with the wire lead on it. All I caught was like moss. No, I caught your hair, your head. Yeah, you caught the back of my head. And see, that was a that was a weedless worm yeah. too. I was catching fish all day. He shows up. <sighs> okay, great. Stand here, not there. He stands back there. Yeah. Something tells me he. <laughs> there did goes it my on, weedless worm in there. Per- when are we gonna do that taco shell challenge? We got to do that. Tortilla. <laughs> you want to do that? I will smack the hell out of you. I will hit you. It'll be a fence fight it's before it's so hard. But you got to hold water in your mouth and you can't laugh. We can do one. something like beer or something. I've seen a new one on TikTok beer. of the husband and wife. They smacked and, the other person. And there was another girl over there. But he done it before they even yeah. got done with the rock, daughter. rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> yeah. Well, Before he was, it was even done, he went whop, and he hit her, but he hit the girl neck, and then she fell down. And... <laughs> I saw some two boys do it, and the one kid won, and he hit him, and he just clipped his chin, and he didn't. They did it with an egg, so like, and they, hey. yeah, so like he did it. He got clipped on his chin, and then they're always on there doing jokes. I'm hitting you with a hard boy, but egg. he takes it. No, it was a raw egg, but they he takes him and just drills him upside the head as the guy. <laughs> follows through and pulls it back he gets smacked in the head and they start laughing and spit the egg everywhere wait a minute at, at spring lake use their raw dough i did not know they had carp in there i we used to sneak back there and catch bluegill and crappie back in the day matter of fact we would park at the little ice cream place that was there what was dairy that boat dairy was it dairy boat and we'd walk down there and dairy catch bar bluegill. Or dairy boat yeah. or something like that that eagle hangs around that lake so there must be something Something in that lake. I did not know that. They're, yeah, up in those trees right there, <clears> that tree <throat> line. We got to do this. Oh, no. We, we got to do the tortilla challenge. I'm not doing the egg challenge. <laughs> there's, there's too many ways to make that illegal. And, and mine would be frozen hard in the freezer for three days. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I said, let's do it. That would be a probably we could, highly... we, could, we could do it. To, we, we could wait to the fair and do it on air out at the fair. Out at the fair? <laughs> and see, we could have a contest to see who can make Billy laugh with Don't the tortillas. I say we put ketchup in our mouth, too, so it looks like blood. Ten bucks, that. and you can challenge Billy. To hot sauce. That challenge. <laughs> hot, there you hot, go. Yeah. One chip challenge is a good one. What's, wait, what's, oh. No, oh. I ain't doing that. The ghost pepper stuff, huh? Uh-uh. Yeah. Huh? Uh-uh. Carolina, whatever. Reaper. Yep, they uh, give it. Mom got the kids some gummy bear thing, and it's got one hot. <laughs> so he gummy took the <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, no. wrong with that. 
Raldo from the go with her and Gabby's. ask him. <laughs> That's awesome. I did not know that. The tortilla challenge is hysterical. Yeah, the Carolina Reaper, I can't do that. I'm, I like spicy, but I don't like I don't setting myself on fire. like chili's salsa. It's too dang hot. Really? Yeah, you know There's what? No way. That I is can't. the best salsa, but yeah, you get a hot batch every sometimes. Once in a while, oh, my God. Like, I think wow. La Jardur has the best chips, but chili's has the best salsa. I love the way chili's does their salsa, but like what Corey's saying, you get a batch every now and then, and it, it is it's hot. Like, hey. The world. I, Wasabi. I ate. I need jalapenos on anything. And we're, we're downtown at one of the first concerts on a Thursday night. And I've eaten jalapenos my entire life. And he has. He, he can eat them. I can eat them. And we go Those there and we are... order some from Green on the taco side or the nachos, nachos and, and barbecue and put some jalapenos on there. And we sat down and I don't complain about it. I eat about three or four and I'm like, <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm like, what is, what is going on here? And he said they were the same. And I finally look at Courtney. He's like, sweat for his business, and it may have been like just, Chili's, just a different yeah. batch. I don't know where he got those, but those <clears throat> things lit me up. And I looked at him. He's sweating. I go, you know those hot? And he goes, these are hot as hot. Like, yeah. I think sometimes you just get a get a hot batch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had some ghosts mixed in there with it. That's all right. I was at Mexico. He probably restaurant. set those aside for you. He's like, I'll get Kevin. <laughs> I was at, uh, I thought they had the verde sauce in the green jar at a Mexican restaurant recently, and it was habanero, and I'd dump it on about half my plate. I was like, well, I'm not, I'm eating it. And sure enough, it's good to dab it, but then I got a whole big slob of it, and about halfway down, I was like, three alarm. And you can't, like, water doesn't really help. No. You got to have milk, yeah. I, and and I, my thing is, I like spicy. I don't like insane heat like that. Yeah. I can eat spicy food all day. I, yeah, I not so much anymore. But Cajun yeah, food do. all day, but I can't eat. There's no sense in it. Use those Jelly Bellies that have all the gross flavors. Now, mm. nah, I can't do I've that. Done that one. I ain't eating no poop. And yes, you <laughs> did. It was in here, wasn't it? Did we do it? I don't. Somebody had them in here. <laughs> we had think them you in did. Here, We've got. We got a gummy bear game at home that's got like it's. There's I'm not eating any there. gummy bear from you. <laughs> there's no like telling. A, Why does this taste like belly button? It's like <laughs> one of them's like a nasty fish, like raw or oh, rotten man, fish. They're picked late. They get hotter. I, AI. This these must have been picked in December. <laughs> these were in fuego. I would do a, some kind of deal where we'd have a throw up challenge or something like that. You be... got something in here, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't want to do. <laughs> You bought something for Billy to try on it. I ain't eating that jelly. Nice try. <laughs> you do it all the video. <laughs> eat, eat something, isn't it? It's, it's, it's in some the, sort it's of here. Try this jelly on this biscuit, Billy. Because I was just thinking the farmer's market lady that sells the jellies. She yeah. got some hot jellies. Did I get the holop? Did I get the? You got the peach yeah, habanero. You did. I, I ain't eating that, that crap. <laughs> That's not bad. I had some all on right, a cracker. Go ahead and eat some now. He's got plenty of crackers. You got ice. It smells good. I forgot that I got that. It it's not bad. It smells good. I've had the jalapeno strawberry jam before, and it yeah, Michelle loves, nothing to Michelle it. Michelle and Trenton, no one loves the strawberry one. I forgot I bought that, Corey. Good call. I think that's what it was, wasn't it? Peach habanero. Peach habanero, peace reaper, or peach reaper. It smells good. Billy, you'd be all right. Just take, mm -hmm. take the you taste. You got crackers. You got, no. got crackers. crackers over there. No. I said throw up. I don't want to burn my insides. Put it in the fridge. I'm going to go, got to go check. Wasting your time. <laughs> oh, man. So when's the, uh, when's oh, the next round? Pepper. Yeah, I ain't eating oh. that. I ain't eating that. So when's the next star search thing? Uh, Semi-finals, right? End of this month? Um, should be. Is our final four? One yeah, of our, did, our okay. Did, finals. did you did you guys or Rob or whoever picked the, picked the wild card? The wild card. Yeah. So it's still everybody's up for grabs. Uh, July twenty fifth will be the first two of the final four, and then nice. So you definitely are going to have the indigos, and you're definitely going to have the the girl Shelly and the McMahon. guy from Whiteland. Yeah, the first. Yeah, and then remind me to wash my hands. And then the boy that the first week, Jack Reese. Yep, so Jack Shelby and Smell the it. indigos. You can't even smell the pepper. I'm sure you can. I'm serious. I'll taste it. Mm. 
Need a four. You can't taste it, but somebody like me can't stand spicy stuff. Probably scald my roof of my mouth or something, my tongue, and I'll be puking on air. And I haven't done it. I what is it with milk though? I just don't understand. Kills it. It's a chemical reaction. Say it must like coat it or something. Like because you I get... love milk, but I couldn't see drinking milk. What's well, just like spicy. um? What's that? My lantern or whatever? Like a tone? Like it? Cl- mm-hmm. It coats whatever? I don't know. I wouldn't say. I suggest hmm. doing that with it. But oh come on! Hey dude, I ain't eating that crap. Oh, he dog. I wasn't <laughs> you. Had you tried it before? Mm-mm. Oh, so he don't know. He was trying yeah. to throw you in. I hope you get the screaming. I can see it's like hmm. Oh, oh, oh. You nothing really. I, I don't have enough of it. But well, there's a there's a, a half a cracker. Only jelly people who on like there. spice foods that you can't even smell it. Exactly. <laughs> you can you can tell there's something there going. You need to taste more. Yeah, put in the, more in put the a back. Whole spoon on that cracker, Kevin. But the peach is good. I mean, I love peach. I want to eat more of this, but good. We want to see you sweat when we start seeing. Krista, you're right there with the air, so Krista, we've got the peach ghost. Krista knows about it, yeah. From the yeah. farmers market. Hey, we're supposed to be out there this weekend, correct? Are we? Yeah. It's their um. July sixteenth. Sixteenth. What are we doing? What? Yeah, you have any on there? No, See that? Just, kind of Here, I'll make one for you guys. No, I'm not even that. Just take a spoon of it. Mm-mm. <laughs> My throat swells shut. That's <laughs> Who's doing the trade on okay. here? I was going to say, it's okay. I watched the show. What kind of... Uh, I can put a straw through your neck and it'll be okay. <laughs> what kind of stuff what you, you going to... What kind of produce and stuff you going to have this weekend, Krista? Yes, what's I up seen your, uh, your, uh, uh your tunnel. What was it? i seen her picture. Hmm. We need uh, to have her on air and she won't come on air with us. She studio. seems a little shy when you put well, the camera on her. She gets scared. Yeah, she does. What was the tunnel you put on your Facebook yesterday in your garden at home? Can't remember what it was. Seems to be a little shy when you put her on camera, but she sure was like, yeah, you going to give Billy some of that hot jelly? Hmm. <laughs> she did call you out on air, didn't she? <laughs> I think you guys were plotting against me. This isn't hot. All right, I'll take your word for it. You want to try it? Nope. No, we believe you. Sissies. No. No. It's not hot. I made damn near half a jar. <laughs> You're so full of it. Where did I see that picture? I don't see it on there. Look. That's half a jar. Of, of the top of the jar. My cucumber tunnel. Cucumber, that was it. Hey, what's the cucumber melon thing? Can you really do that? Oh, come on. Are, you getting, are you getting heartburn? Like I'm having a heart attack all of a sudden. Oh my god. No, it's not heartburn. I think the cracker went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not. The I'm leaving. I'm not doing mouth to mouth. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, that's not good. I look over and he's like. Uh, it's not hot. It's not hot. Don't do good. It's. I don't need water. No, the, the <laughs> cracker went down the wrong pot, and I was like, mm. Oh, right yeah, yeah, try some of this. It's This is this is nothing right to do with it. She, is, she doesn't do good in front of the camera. It's not she hot got, at all. She's got habanero raspberry jam. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> you all right over there? You need... No, I'm fine. I'm okay. yeah, it's okay. nothing to do with right. heat. It We're going to end the show. Catherine's heart attack. Cracker got stuck in my throat. She's not. Nice. She made me a grape jelly the, one year. Oh, it's the best grape jelly I ever back had. Back to my question before I had a mini stroke there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the cucumber watermelon thing? What was that? They're oh, just man. like mini watermelons, aren't they? That... But how do you do, how do you, what do you do there? Oh, no. Didn't she have some at her booth? I thought she did. <laughs> Someone give him. <laughs> Give it. We don't have no milk. Well, I was trying to show him. There you go. How do you say that? <laughs> Get me in trouble. <laughs> Cuc- melons? Isn't that a kid's show? Or is that Coco yeah. Melon? Well, choking her. Yeah, exactly. 
What's a cucumelon? How do you? Cucumelons. <laughs> how do you? How's it happen though? I you, would you think plant, you take your you cucumber, take both, both seeds, you, and jam them together. You take the cucumber <laughs> no. and you shove it in the melon and let it ferment. I don't think that's how it goes. Tom, growing mine. Are you getting them? No. I actually am growing what if cucumbers. You put a cucumber and a pumpkin. Billy's come a long way. Pumpkins? From his, <laughs> from his little carrot he had a couple years ago. I know, He's right? Come a long way. My Billy. junior year seems to be like, <laughs> I think I've got things figured out. I didn't know what Corey was, a, he was electing not to hear. Look. You're going to buy one Saturday. Right there. I'll get one. I said, what do you do if you get a cucumber and a pumpkin? <laughs> Pumpkins. Can we grill those on the... Blackstone? So does it taste like a cucumber or does it taste yeah, like a, a cantaloupe or watermelon? <laughs> what <is it>? Cantaloupe. <laughs> the hell? If you want a reaper? How fast does a cucumber grow? Because I swear this cucumber was not there yesterday. And it was like full size today. Well, I was trying to find the picture she shared. I couldn't find it of her tunnel. It's crazy. When they're small, you got to rub them. Oh, <laughs> wow. What time are we? Are we late night? Yeah, Those are past, called gross. We're past nine thirty, so <laughs> you can pet it or talk dirty to it. <laughs> so you naughty cucumber. You're bad. Cucumelon, huh? Oh, so we're so we're supposed to go there Saturday, right? Yes, it tastes, tastes like, like a cucumber with a hint of lemon. Mm. Hmm. Where's the lemon come from? Well, we can throw a cucumber on the griddle. Cucumber lemon? Cut them up, dip them in some olive oil. That'd be good. Fry them up. Mm. You need uh, to do that with zucchini, too. Cucumber lemon. Cucumber yep. <laughs> lemon. Zucuca lemon. Zucuni, zucuni lemon. Where's the hint <laughs> of lemon come from a pint, from a watermelon and a cucumber? Yeah. It's like mixing colors here. You hmm. Red and green, and you're, you're gonna get lemon somehow. Oh, so what? You got a blow up cucumber? Is that what we got going on? Or you said it's a tunnel? In a tunnel at our house. Like, oh, is it like it's they? Like a, so it's arched. So walk I got you. Yeah, yeah. We've got a blow up cucumber. <laughs> I was yeah, like, well, I, I was thinking like that. I was like, I'm thinking the Where football. Can we get a blow up cucumber? I'm thinking the football <laughs> helmets that they run out of the tunnel on. That's what I'm thinking. Like a cucumber tunnel. The cucumber guys got to just have to try it. <laughs> Kevin's buying one. Can you eat them all? Why couldn't you? I'll bring my knife. We'll cut that sucker up right there. On air. In front of the fiddle player. We'll bring some vinegar and. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> the fiddle player. Is there a fiddle player? Kid plays a fiddle. Out Is that the there. guy He's from Kroger that had the speaker no, on that was that fake? Was good. I don't think it was you real. Don't think it was real. Because I seen that. Say, I saw a kid no, and a fake. lady out really? at Target in Plainfield yeah, playing the fake. same song last yeah. year at this time. Like he I was swear. Night Rider when I went by. And I'm not. Time. I'm not like, dude. I'm all for that. Like, if you're gonna go out and whatever, but What's like. Up? It was telling me all about it and says that that's pretty cool. That, that dude's good. First, he shouldn't be playing in a parking lot. He I, should be somewhere. First off, he had to sign with the cash app and oh, all that stuff. Cool. And second of all, <laughs> it's like he had a really nice speaker and electric violin. And I'm sure that that wasn't cheap. But like, I wanted to go over and be like, hey, grab the strings and be like, what are we playing next? Oh, and it's still playing. Oh, no, good. Yeah. Never mind. For a homeless guy, you got six thousand hey. dollars worth of equipment here. <laughs> wow. I get it. Was it was. It was cool, and like when I drove past it last year, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, "Wow!" Because the kid said something. I need college money, and I was like, "I'm gonna throw that kid a couple bucks." They were gone when I came back. I was like, "Well, I guess he got his tuition paid." <laughs> yeah. Krista, we will try that on air. Cucumelon. Cucumelon. Pumpkins. The only thing I hate about that dude doing that is because, like, like that dude I went and watched. And there's another couple of guys that I watch, and there's some there's some girl that does it like on uh, Hello, Twitch, like how Andrew does mm -hmm. his stream. And it's like those guys are like so talented, and they're so. And I'm not saying maybe the dude was playing, but it seems awful fishy that they're playing the same song. No, I've I, seen them fake. And 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 somebody else called them out and said that they were like in Greenwood. They saw them in Bloomington and Greenwood guy. and other areas and doing the like, same thing. And those speakers, I mean, you know those those uh, those portable speakers, you can just 
Bluetooth them and play whatever you want to play. And, I'm, I'm saying fake. But you're still putting on an act for people. And if people want to give you money, hey, man, I'm all right. for it. You're performing. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Whatever. But it's just, it, it sucks if he's not really playing for those people that really are playing. And There's a bunch of people online that were calling him out saying, hey, he's playing for real. Like Tom. Tom plays out on his sidewalk. And the dude plays. Mm-hmm. And like he he's plays good. for real. Like, yeah. And that, I mean, that's that's a musician, I guess. Like, that's the way there I There were feel. people about the guy at Kroger's saying yeah. he was playing for real. Oh, yeah. No, they, they there believed were some it people 100%. Was, he was playing for real, whether he was <laughs> right. playing the notes right. himself. Yeah. He was doing it. But, like, yeah. I don't know that he was... Like, I don't know. And I, I guess I can't say for oh, sure one way or another, but it seems fishy. It was the same song that I heard the kid playing in... in um, uncanny. And, I, hey, man, maybe that's just a popular electric Nilly violin Vanilli, there song. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vanilli. Billy Vanilli. Hey, I didn't care. I still rocked in those songs back in middle school and high school. I made, a, I, made a, rain. Rain. I made a poster called Billy Vanilli, and it was for an art project. <laughs> you were, you were um, faking... Someone that was already faking. I know. And I had no idea. So who thought... actually sung them songs? Uh, two big dudes. Oh, the uh, Millie Vanilli? They yeah. were like, they were they were uh, serious, like, studio musicians. Like, they were, like, big time. But they didn't fit that yeah. that look or whatever. So, yeah. so they twins asked them. Twins and the twins. So they're like, hey, friends? guys, you got the look. Uh, were they even related? Were they brothers? Sp- I don't think so. I think they were like just two dudes with like dreaded out hair mm. and spandex. Mm. You still got your spandex? Baby. That's what you should start doing is lip syncing <laughs> Millie Vanilli. That and cult personality. I'll take my Bluetooth speaker. Take I'll play with it. What it tequila? <laughs> tequila. <laughs> just parachute <laughs> pants. Oh, you still got those. How again. funny I would that be? I right, go over there. Tequila. The top of the Jeep, set the Bluetooth speaker up there, and just play tequila as loud as I can. And just be <laughs> like, like tequila. Says, I have a Jeep. I need money. I, I'll, just, I'll yeah, just say, like, it you, leaks. you just blew a drive sh- or drive shaft <laughs> right, out of it. Like, right. I need that $30 <laughs> to fix that uh, U joint that I replaced. I had some parachute pants. I guarantee he still has his somewhere. Oh, I seen MC Hammer had some red ones and, and some gray ones. ones. Now MC didn't have the parachute pants. He had, he the, had the whatever had the big old floppy pants. Yeah, yeah. That boy could dance. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hammer, hammer time. Yeah, I could I could see Billy in his parachute pants. Matter of fact, he had the jacket too. Mm-hmm. There's pictures somewhere with the white shirt and the red parachute pants that you had. Sure. Patrick had parachute pants on in a baseball picture. Exactly what outfit? <laughs> right. He wanted. No, but I mean, growing up, that's I, I guarantee every every family event we had there. Oh, Billy's got his parachute pants on again. <laughs> well, well, you know, it's Christmas. Billy's got his parachute pants. On. Oh, it's Easter. Oh, well, it's Fourth of July. Mm. Halloween. What is he going to ask Michael Jackson? Well, that's a shock. <laughs> Sparkle glove. Shock. Cool. Yeah, that's a shock. Yep. The good old parachute pants. Mm. Music was so different back then compared to now. It's techno. It was so much better. 80s music that just was so much better. 80s music's the best. 80s music has lasted. I, you know what I saw? I saw the dude from... Um, Rode nice. up in the elevator with MC and his band in college and didn't know it was him until nice. later. What, the, what was that band? It wasn't White Snake. It was... Um, Rat? The guy was like Cinderella. He was twisted sister. Like Cinderella, propped up there, there. he did. couldn't walk. I don't know if he twisted like sister. He's still D. Snyder rocking it today. It? Yeah, he that dude. He's he's done a lot of mm. like stuff like Two Life Crew. No, no, nope, not them. ELO. Nope. I can't. I'll think of it at some point, and it'll probably Boston, be tonight Kansas. about one in the morning. Yeah, Ario Speedwagon. And I'll call you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Thought of that. Hey, no, I get a text. Yeah, that band's name was Molly Hatchet. What's uh, the concert tonight? Uh, Jeff was trying to give us tickets. Train, train. Blues Traveler. Blues Traveler. I, Jewel. I love Blues Traveler. Who was the other one? Jewel. I've seen Train. The chick Jewel. I'd like God. to see Blues Traveler too. With We're mixed. Yeah. Blues Traveler. I but I mean, the bad thing is, on a work night, to drive mm-hmm. all the way to Noblesville and back. Oh, it was. Still train more, since he was up there. Stop. Train uh, like his wife and kid. Train puts they on a there. really good show. Mm-hmm. Seen them. There was another one. Uh, I think Trenton Ka- done a concert a couple weeks ago. It was bare naked ladies. Uh, 
How cool is that? He worked at Wrigley and got to see a really yeah. cool concert. Did he say those bands were any good? Yeah, he said he's good. That's cool. I wondered about I wondered about yeah. the Vince Neil though. I've seen some videos. Of that's him. what I'm saying. Motley Crue looks pretty he's iffy like, at best. Shout out the devil or whatever song is, and he was not singing anything. Well, he was doing Doctor Feelgood, and it was like not even close. Yeah. It was like cheeseburger <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> no, he said they were good, and then the next night he had Zach Brown band, a country there at Wrigley. Right. So it was like total opposite. And Motley Crue and Def Leppard and who else was there? What if I did that one summer. I Poison. worked up at Deer Creek doing that stuff. That did was, you work up there? I did not know that. I saw that. a lot of good concerts. Yeah. Fletcher somehow tied us all in with, with mm. that. I don't know who the who the the connection was, but yeah, oh, I did. Dude, I saw Rod Stewart, okay. Grateful Dead. Like the I saw Naked Ladies. It was Toad the Wet Sprocket. And I'm like, I have heard that. I've heard that name for a long time. time. I yeah. think they were just in Indianapolis. I yeah, think. I think they're like tour because it, it seems like. Either they're here and then they're going to Chicago, or it's vice versa. Because he done, what he done? Yeah, they're doing uh, the circuit. Earth, wind, and fire, and then Santana, and they were supposed to be here last weekend. Okay. Well, Santana collapsed. Oh. The day after the Chicago show. Really? Heat exhaustion. So they canceled the Deer or Deer Creek, Ruoff, or whatever. Deer Creek. Works. Whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah I was called. Deer they canceled Deer it. I think it's supposed to be Friday night up there. Yeah, is Toad still around, or is it they changed ninety percent of their band? That's what oh, I. Don't I don't like. know if it's original. I, 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 unless the owner of the name, like Journey, is was, still there, uh, then you got to change. Was another it. band back? What? Not like Good Good Dolls. There's another band like them. They're all on a tour right now with Barnett and Rock. Toad the Wet Sprocket. I know who you're talking about. I can't think of the other band, but. Trenton was like, bare naked ladies, they were kind of odd and weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, but those guys were playing in the 90s. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have to be pushing all, well. Oh, yeah. What would you say? Um, 50s well, then they ended up now. Older. Ooh, oh, this yeah. month he's doing, where he got asked to do Roger Waters, which is Pete That'd Floyd's. Cool. yeah. Wow. And he's on his own tour, but he's playing well, Pete how Floyd. How old is he? He's almost 80. I looked him up. See how old he was. He's how the hell is he still 78 playing? Seventy-eight years old. He just came out with an album. That's Not like Pink little, Floyd though. No, it's just him. Roger Waters. But he's singing a lot of the Pink Floyd stuff. So I said, yeah, because he didn't know who he was. Well, Ryan said, yeah, and Carrie just went concert. to That's... Stevie Nicks. Yeah, she's probably in her seventies. I bet, or close mm-hmm. to it. And they said she Were sounded you a Stevie great. Nicks fan? I'm, I'm telling you what. They put out a lot of good stuff. Or she she did Fleetwood Mac, whatever. But that band that was out there, they were spot on on almost everything. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I remember and, a couple of years ago. When yeah, we they're really good. Pretty impre- they and they too, didn't they? They sing together. They came out one for song. one or two songs with the Tom Petty guys, mm-hmm. and they were really good too. His voice cut out a couple of times late, but it, dude, it, it was hot. Like and it was Tom like, Petty, yeah, too. he did. He kind of had that. Yeah. She came out with the, the younger I, Stevie Nicks. I couldn't that. see. Like oh wow! Too much. Um, yeah. Camp Randall, that'd well, be a fun place to go watch. Adam Hart Mother is a. Oh, they're really. Oh awesome. yeah, they're Pink they're, they're band. insane. And they're like good. a lot of local. There are a couple of people from Big Country in that band. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Yeah, I saw them play a couple of years ago, and I was like, the band that did uh, Bebe Lestrange. Mm-hmm. They were that singer was spot on. Or, yeah, spot well, okay. on. So what I said. Oh, that's that's who it is right there, Jim. Blossoms. Jim Blossom's yeah. torn with Toad. That's who it is. The uh, that that Leonard like Skinner hits, band so. is yeah. like that. I felt like they only played like six songs because their songs are so long. But like, they were so good. <laughs> How they, long the song was it? Nine verses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they they were so good. They called them back out. Like Rob's like, all right, we got Van Halen tribute coming up next, and they people are cheering. They like they <laughs> said, no, we want. If they come back out. And they're like. We have never, because they ended with Freebird. They're like, we've never encored after Freebird. Like, that's always our last song. So they were like, so what they play? Or did they, uh, they played Give Me Two Steps, oh, I think. So, like, it, it was kind of one of them. Not a bad closer. No. But it was one of the things where it was like. But the Van Halen band probably was ticked off because they were the closing band so was, and they didn't get this the This was at the fair. Maybe. Yeah. And I. Yeah. I, if, they should have switched hindsight, that. Hindsight, they should have switched that yeah. because I didn't think they were. And they, 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 they tried to overkill it by. Pumping it up more. Bob Seger guy too. I oh, think was, that was the first one, yeah. And horrible. I didn't see that one, but I heard that wasn't the, the Eagles Rob, band was pretty good. I think, I think they really played. Oops. And, and, uh, I think the Eagles band and the Leonard yeah, Skinner. Yeah. But that 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 ZZ Top, I looked them up. Um, 
if it's the right one because there's a couple of them if, they're good if it's the ones that actually have beards and, oh, yeah. and they dress this part they're Do pretty they good i didn't i didn't <laughs> see it but hey, like you, you know who we haven't heard from in a while saul is our boys um my favorite dude that just all gone it yeah from up here in indy what's he his was name? at cedar or where what he played he was here and really no, <laughs> he was. <laughs> he wrote on her damn table. He was at one of the concerts. I seen him. Out, he was there, but he wasn't you playing. Were, you were. I think he was at the fair. The that concert because I was trying to find you. And that's there you when go. Kevin I'm going to see them uh, in August. <laughs> What's his name? What's her? Yeah. Big on it. Oh. Uh, um. I want to say cooperation, but it's not. It's uh, no. It's like that. It's like a one word. Yeah. But he's fun. And he plays with. Uh... They play all the sing along songs, and he's, he's the just... dude that plays bass for yeah. Rob. And yeah. His girlfriend or yeah. wife. He plays, he plays with, with their band. Yeah. I can't think. Of... I've I've watched him on. They were in here too. I can't. Facebook. Think of he went live one night, and they're all just hanging out in their garage drinking. And oh, playing, yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, he was, he was ripped, ripped but there. they were just having a ball. Uh, he's combo nation, combo nation, is, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they, Henry Lee, Henry Lee, Henry Lee was, he signed our table down there. So, <laughs> to, uh, uh, off air, when we were in here just BSing with Henry, that dude is still phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, and his stories are incredible. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Uh, the, the guy I went and watched the other day up at Fountain Square, there's an opening band from Indy called brother oh brother just two in that band there's a guitar player and a drummer but the drummer is shirtless with a big furry white vest and the guitar player wears big white cowboy boots dude they totally jam too like can we get one of those i <laughs> white furry vest. They, they, they they end too what do they play though rock oh yeah it's like a it's it's heavy yeah kind of heavy kind of punky what, type of sound is it all covers though no it's all original stuff but really? like they switch, like in their last song. They switch. I look at one point, I'm like, I check my phone or something. I think you guys have sent a message or something. I check my bad? phone. And I look over, and the dude's on the bar with the white cowboy boots, and he's just <laughs> jamming. Like, he crawled off the stage onto the bar. So he goes back. Well, they play the last song. The drummer comes out, takes the guitar, and the, the guitar player is back, and he starts just beating the hell out of the drums. Okay, so the drummer's out there. I look up. He's playing the guitar with a drumstick, like it's a <laughs> like a freaking violin. Very entertaining. Very brother, brother, oh brother. They're gonna be. I think they're gonna be back it? up. I We've probably they're heard from, of. Them. They're from Indy. I, I can't remember their names, and I bought a T-shirt. I was like, you guys were. You bought really a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Dude, they can't even get him to and buy I, a Porsche <laughs> time shirt. And he buys a damn. I ended up. I got up on stage too. And uh -uh. yeah, well, for the one dude, and for the one, yeah, for the oh, I, I did the guitar the, change for one man band, dude. Did you crowd surf while you're there, too? <laughs> no, he signed my poster and he's like, dude, thanks for the help, you're a legend. And I was like, dude, you made my night. What made you, <laughs> what made you get on stage? Okay, so like, I'm, and why didn't security tase you and why isn't that on camera? Well, I'm I'm right off the side of the Works stage, the shirts. they're coming, and it's me and some some big dude that's probably six it's three probably six four no he's just walking around just so and they're enjoying the show i guess but he was in the back where i was and when this dude came, all right chris so we'll see you saturday dear i moved off to the side of the stage and it's like perfect i'm like front row like and you, you, you weaseled your way to the front right so at one point he changes guitars he's like one of you two guys help me real quick oh so he asked yeah so I look over this dude and I was like, there's no way I'm letting this cat get up on stage. If he's getting, if he's like giving me the invite, I'm going on stage. So I felt like I was 16 again. And Did you rip your shirt off there. when you went up there? No, I you went up have. there and I, I was like, I grabbed that guitar and I was like, man, this is so cool. And I turned around, I gave Carrie the thumbs up and I was thinking the whole time, she better be taping this. <laughs> so she ended up. I got know, no place else to she, go. She, she, she was taping it. You turned into Chris Farley from um, yeah. Wayne's World. So I take this old ass guitar. It's like probably 100 years old. And I go to put it in the stand. Well, it's got a bigger neck on it and it doesn't really fit in there. I'm like, oh my God, this is going to fall off of here or whatever. So I'm like kind of adjusting it or whatever. And I was like, dude, if you ever need a full time roadie. You know, look me up. <laughs> so he's like, thanks, Billy. And then everybody started yelling. So like I go to go back off the side where I 
where I got up. And he's suddenly Steve from the Jerry Springer show. The now. bouncer yeah. comes over and he's like, uh uh-uh. uh. And I was like, no, dude, I'm over here. And he's like, no, come down this way. And I was thinking, should I just jump into the crowd or what should I do? But there was a little there was a little walkthrough area in front of the stage and there was a barrier and then the crowd. And I was like, my fat ass ain't making it to the crowd. So I ended up, I just jumped down, which I was going to turn around, slide down. I was like, that wouldn't be cool at all. They'd make fun of me if I did that. So like, I just, I jumped off the stage onto the ground and I was thinking, man, get it, step out and come back in. That's funny. Christine. I was thinking if, if I'm hurt, let the adrenaline at least get me off the stage. So nobody sees me, you know, buckle my knee or anything. And I made it off. Okay. And I, I just remember going over to Carrie and being like, you got all that. Didn't you please tell me like, you mm-hmm. I can't believe he, he asked you to come on stage to help him. Dude, it was incredible. So like, is, he, is he from London? Yeah. So he's got the he's good got, accent. Oh, so you go yeah, up and ask him yeah. for some fish and chips? Well, I waited and talked to him afterwards, and like I got a picture, and uh, I put my arm back there behind him, and the dude was like drenched in sweat. So I, what I'm, I was thinking, all these there is no way... That dude can eat and drink enough to replenish his calories that he's burning <laughs> off during one of those hour, hour and a half sets. Like, was it inside? Yeah. That that okay. So that that high five has got an indoor bar, and then behind it, it's got like an outdoor, like a fenced in area. They had bands going outside and bands going inside. But why was he cool. drenched? Was it not climate controlled at all? Well, no. It was. It wasn't like super hot in there, but he, just, he was work. working it, man. Okay. Like. That makes sense. To say. And those stage outside. lights are like super hot too. Like they're. Oh really yeah, no. I, I, that's what I was I always joke about. Rob, about once a year, I announced Big Country at Cedar Creek, mm. and at the fair sometimes, and every at other concert. Especially a show like that where they've I, got the you lights. You walk up there, and those lights are. First of all, you can, if you don't look down, you don't see anybody. Mm, right. And you're like looking right in them lights, and you're like, dude, I don't even know how you play up here. <laughs> well, when I went up there. Okay, and you so got to like, turn and walk off the stage without running any instruments or anything. And you're like, I'm blinded. So when I went up there, I was like, you know, told him my name, whatever, and I jumped down there. I go meet him afterwards, and he's like, "What's your name?" I was like, "You know, Billy. I freaking did the guitar change." He's like, "Oh God, dude, you're a legend." Or I'm sorry, man. Like he's Billy. That's right. And I was like, "What's your name, kid? Dude, 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 kid? dude what? <laughs> he forgot me already. It's been a freaking hour. Come on, man." Uh, Dude, he totally dissed you. The right guy over for... here that's freaking, uh, you know, what what do they call that? Uh, fangirling you. I'm sitting over there. Like, exactly. Yeah. It was awesome. Did though. you go, I think I'm going to go pick a fight. <laughs> you lost a fight. <laughs> yeah. Where's he the forgot, gym? He forgot your name? Well, he, dude, there was a line of people waiting to meet him. Oh, whatever. But you were like, ro- King Rody. I was night. like. Dude, I'm the ugly dude with the big white beard. How could you forget me? Like, I was on stage with you, remember? But probably he was just wanting to get it done and didn't care who was helping. He's, he's, is that right? Bit, I don't know. He's been, uh, I think he's just finally ended his tour. I think he went to Canada for one stop, <clears throat> but they were like adding shows like everywhere. <clears throat> and he's understand to do that either early in the year or late in the year. Don't come to the Midwest in the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Yeah, I think they were kind of going. But he was inside, so he's a street performer. He's used to playing in all oh, sorts yeah. of weather. Look up some of the videos. Like I've people, seen some on they, TikTok. They're they, incredible. That guy, I wouldn't say it's like music is like great, but something about it makes you tap your foot or shake your head. And if you can do that, like people on those videos are just dancing like mm-hmm. crazy. Like they're just like they don't care about anything. Like you see business people walking up in suits, and they're just like. Yeah, but like, Whoa, man. they were also dancing to the kid playing the banjo in Deliverance. So, well, hey, man, <laughs> it's pretty you... good, <laughs> right? That was <laughs> what's his name that's leading our country now. You <laughs> <laughs> get a shut down now. I didn't, I didn't say no, that. but you're you 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 did I'm well there. Been talking about somebody else. Somebody else. <laughs> Billy, sure, before we go, you don't want to try this peach. I am absolutely... Go. Take it home. Take positive. the lid off. Put another lid on. Just leave it in the fridge. <laughs> here, Carrie. I know, right. you're, I know you're mad because you're yelling at me, but here, I made you some toast. Yeah. What were these? Yeah, toast. I think those are Rose. Oh, here's one Rose O'Neill's. What? Yeah. Does it say... What's it say on there? It's hey, hey. Sun Valley or something on there. I, I think she left them in here that day. 
think she. Well, I think we need to put one in there. And you know what? The other one. That kid. She is such a good kid. She yeah, came gross. by. And saw Brindley yesterday. Taste, or who's is up? Or Benitos? Or is Benitos. It, this like is chicken. this is harder than I like to use. I, I like using a softer, flimsier we'll pick. Put one in there before hmm. she comes up. But those are really nice. The Benito, which was Eddie Money's guitar player's picks. Of There's that. two in there. I think one's tastes like chicken. Okay, I thought it tastes like chicken. So yeah. When, or like Billy, she wants to know when your to... next chunk in the trunk is. <laughs> I don't chunk? know. Chunk? I, I, I waited too long and they took my Google number from me. So I've got to get a different that number. People are calling that Google number? <laughs> people are calling that and that's getting... That's for sale? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell them what they're that? getting. Like, that boat at? Boat for you got that $40,000 boat uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that, that's, that would be priceless if we get a text from somebody and see who answers it now. All right. they're like jug the trunk when they <laughs> whoa wait a minute hang on a second handsome handsome date what was it dancing dance or right. handsome dance they just take it away huh after you don't use it yeah if you don't i found out if you really? don't use it for like so long that they pull the number i'm like probably you might have to probably pay your bill too okay. i'm just throwing that out there call it now right <laughs> junk in the trunk i'm gonna help you just junk in the trunk dude that's hilarious all right to recap we are doing a booth at the fair we will be set up across from she's nuts um, she's not the way you say food. that. You're right. Yeah. You said the food's right by us. Well, the food tent's right. So, like the it. lemon shakeups right there, right? twenty feet from us. She We're right, nuts. like right. <laughs> We're right by the gazebo. Bass, practically, it's right oh, to her back. Oh, is be... was that where they're playing the? Wonder no, the free stage is up there. there do they the, do that? In no, the gazebo? Um, the uh, or is it around the corner now? Now, uh, Tom had his on uh, the other side of the main yeah, team. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, they I used to do it up mm-hmm. by the. Well, the Corbin, free stage is still there. Corbett and Rose played in that gazebo. Yeah, yeah. Rose yeah. played. I think it's it. kind of free for all there at the gazebo, but they do different stuff. Is that where Rose? That's where she they were playing it. the other day. Yeah. During the uh, Corbin played there. Before, Rally in the Valley before the Trace Atkins concert. Yeah. At that little gazebo, but I know the little stage you're talking about. Yeah, Tommy had kind it of behind the food stuff. No, on down. Yeah, 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 on down by the rabbit, yeah. rabbit and yeah. chicken thing. Now I don't know if the animals are going to be there. A lot of them, mm. because a lot of them are going to the state fair. A lot of the animals are going to be out there next week. There wasn't a lot there last year, right? Uh, it was going like after the second or third day. Mm. And that's going to be the same situation. That's sad. That's why they're changing it, because a lot of people want to take their kids out there a little and see the animals and stuff, and they're gone. Yeah. Then you do it all. You do the bracelet. You see the well, animals. And you move it to me, and you're face done. it. When you pull the 4-H stuff and the animals, and it's, it's not a county like, fair. Yeah, it's just kind of like you got a few amusement rides and these smelly dudes without their shirts on. Mm-hmm. Hello, Desi. <laughs> yes. Isn't that gazebo for the sponsor? Ah, that's right. During the fair, it is. That is correct. So I was ah. thinking the free stage used to be up by the. 4-H building, it's but they the moved it around the corner now, right? No, it's it's by the rabbit. So was him. Tom's not technically the free stage? No, he just had Tom was his own on. business, okay. letting people hit, letting his students play. That was really cool. I, yeah, that's where I saw the Isaacs for the first time, and I was like, mm-hmm. no, it was the second time, because we saw him at the Chili. Uh, there was something there with um, at Kevin's place. He was Kevin's. doing something there, yeah. Oh, yeah, out in the little... Yeah, little, and I then, they, then we there, saw him. Yeah. Desi's right on the gazebo on the sponsor of the day. Then we saw him. I saw him there, and I, I went live for like an hour and a half there. They played. I think that was a I still, that got, I still have that. I was watching them in Love the beach. You yeah. had the Isaacs playing. Yeah, those kids. That's, where, that, they, that's where they played crazy. Tom crazy had them training. on. Yes. Tom had them on the other day. They got rained out, yeah. and then I think he took them over to his place and, yeah, and let them play. Concert. And I think. Is that little gal got, taking over the Band, well, they yeah. had her front and center, but Dad was playing, Dad was playing. the bass. Yeah, the whole player. family plays. Yeah. They were jamming, dude. Mm-hmm. They they yeah. they were better than the last time I saw them too. Like they're well, the, still they still got the, the little one. I don't know how old. The little gal. The, no, the, they had the little, little baby baby. Oh, that's right. And it was they, already playing. They're stuff. shaking maracas. <laughs> yeah, it was already <laughs> little said, tambourine. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. They said it was already playing. Couple little things. Wow, that's insane. So, he, man, their, their whole family's gifted. That's cool. If I could go back in time, no. I would have made like my kids pick up something. Like I would have. I well, it, something. to close it here, we've been going an hour and twenty minutes. If you could do one thing over in life like that, 
Oh, like for me or for somebody? For yourself. What what could you not and not unless I get too deep into this, but I'm talking sports wise or music wise or something like that. Would you go back and learn a specific instrument? Oh no, I would have okay, so like I would have I would have probably You would have stuck with that recorder? No. <laughs> I played trumpet in middle school and You were then horrible, I, I remember. Quit. That. No, I was actually that was first chair, buddy. Nice try. It was the only chair. It's but, the only chair though, let's clarify. <laughs> yeah, there's like one trumpet and the whole thing. But anyway, so like I would have went back, but I think when my dad started showing me and Patrick how to play I would have taken it more serious. And I would have definitely, in this gap of 20 plus years where, like, I've taken a time out and raised the kids and, like, did everything for them. Spanish instead of French. There you go. Like, I would have definitely kept doing that. Like, I would have kept playing. Like, I would have not taken away from the kids, but, like, I would have played at night after they went to bed. Or, like, you get tired and you do all the things you want to do for them. But, like, I would have found a way to done more when he was here and then I would have carry it over i think like because i'm so really have, but you would have stuck with string instruments yeah because i really have i've i've enjoyed getting back into oh, it like i've had fun you see there you go banjo i've never learned that i've never see, timmy's been trying it. to play he, timmy has a banjo yeah bernie has a banjo it's a different animal i mean mm-hmm. i talked to a guy it's the a other totally day that sound. said like with the finger picks he said that um he said to wear them all day on your hand like don't don't take them off. Do everything with it on. They said that way they get like, um, you know, you get the feeling. Hmm. What's that? The high priest of Borino. Borneo? Would have been my calling. I, I, I'm not musically inclined. I wouldn't have let my grandma teach me. So I can't yeah, even cool. I would. I would have loved to... I mean, out of all the instruments that I think are cool is a saxophone. And there's only been like a couple really, really good ones. Kenny G and, and a few of the older ones. Yeah, it's kind of a straight. Yeah. But other than that. I probably would have. I, I, I couldn't even. What, was it Bruce Springsteen or who was the band that had. That's Bruce. Yeah. Sax guy. Yeah. yeah. And the guy in Lost Boys. Who was that? <laughs> yeah. That dude, that dude rocked that song. Yes. But other than that, no, no musical <laughs> instrument. I, I couldn't. I, it just didn't register for me. And I know some people can listen and be like, oh, "I can people, play that." I can't. I actually was just having you can this put conversation that, with Rose. that crap in front of me, the notes and all that stuff, and and play the music and be like, "See, that's that." Um, and I can draw up a playing football for you in a heartbeat. But and I think, nothing, nothing mechan- music wise at all. Nothing. I think that's a big difference too in time, like like when. Our dads were young. But we'd listen to music all the time. But the, Dad which, if you didn't have those... stuff to do, though, then you played or you worked in a farm or you did something, you know, that was accessible. Like, kids now have phones and iPads and video well, games true. and whatever. So it, when I see a kid like somebody like Rose or the little girl exactly. that, the Lily, that came in and played, yeah. that's picked it up and just pretty much learned on mm-hmm their own it's like man that's pretty that's pretty cool like, i tell you, you see it a whole I tell bunch you what anymore. we had in our hands other than a musical instrument was going hunting yeah the, okay yeah so and you, you know got, that, that that's the thing like yeah i mean i was carrying a, i was carrying a rifle with me probably at the age of 10 mm-hmm. if not sooner and going in the woods alone but that's what we did mm-hmm. and there wasn't no music out, out in the woods because if you heard a banjo out in the woods that's when you we were in high school the, and people used to carry them in a truck i mean yeah. i remember them but that's that's all we did. Oh, I I bet you I, I went hunting or went sh- or went and shot with dad in in a month twenty eight days out of a month. I just remember throwing rock, rocks into a barn and shooting. <laughs> there may have been some pigeons. You know how hard they also shoot. I'm just saying. good practice. I'm just saying. But you know you know uh, we used to take fishing for us. There you go. Mm. And that's that's the second thing. Yeah. Yeah. Dad used to put a wire, like a coat hanger, straightened out on a tree, and we'd pace it off, and you had to hit that wire, mm-hmm. and he would hit it every time. You're like, "There's no," whether it be a 22 or, or a BB gun, and every time. And then when I finally started hitting it, then he quit doing it. I was like, uh, "I got you covered." Now. <laughs> okay. But then when I got in the military, that helped out because long distance shooting wasn't that big a deal. But yeah. Now we fished until I caught Billy by the back of the head. 
Walking creeks with no shoes. We went trapping a lot too. We did a lot of trapping. Grew up. My grandparents, they lived in a Jordan, so had a creek and fields, ride motorbikes, and fishing, 40 acres. And so I wasn't ever big on motorbikes fun. because oh, I, I didn't. Oh, my dad and. I never did. I never liked motorcycles. I, I didn't even ride them across the field. They, would, <laughs> they made paths up in the woods and were riding all the time. We were just talking about this in small I mean, Wisconsin schools and our rifle clubs. Hill, yeah. And I had a creek bank just to get across the creek bank, go up the hill, going across the creek and hit the bank. And I went uh, and uh, went right back <laughs> in the creek. And I had yeah, days there. Now, we did our bicycles yeah. everywhere. Oh, yeah. But I mean, um, that was just it. But I remember in, at Woodcrest, we had a uh, trails back through the woods um, mm-hmm. and lots of them. And oh, I, I got on a motorcycle, a oh, dirt bike down there, and I, I rode it about 50 feet and about stuck a... Boy, we're finding out. <laughs> David Hook just puts the cheek. Kevin, Kevin Hook Billy, too. Back of the head. Mm-hmm. And it, it happens. Mm-hmm. I, I'll tell you a true story. Did she delete it? Where'd it go? Oh, I think you just... No. Oh, no, it's good. Huh. I love going to visit my... True story. We're over there fishing... And uh, I go to reach in the tackle box, and right as Timmy closes it, I pull my hand back and I stick a, a hook. Mm. The eyelid is sticking out the top of my fingernail oh. right here, and the and the and the barb is down here. So shirtless, pair of shorts on. Dad's like, I can't yank it out. Let's go, because he's just gonna snip the barb off. Couldn't get to it, and it's bleeding out both ends. And I'm like, and it's it's like boom boom I can't. boom. So I, 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 we go walking in the emergency room Mission and I, hooks and stuff like that. Give me, I, 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 my stomach. As I'm riding in the car, anything else I'm good with. But. As I'm riding in the car, bouncing in the car, it gets the tip gets caught in my shorts. Mm. So I walk in, have to bend over because oh. I can't pull because it's hurting, and I'm like, oh, oh I miss what David that. in the cheek deeply. There you go. I'm feeling that. So I'm Your walking in there. Whip you with the belt for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we'll get to that in a minute. So um, they go and they first they do is they cut my shorts, right? And so now the hands free, and they basically they did stick you have the, some good underwear on. Or did yeah, you thank thank God, Mom had me put clean underwear on. tidies. <laughs> so they jab you with a needle and kill, but you know, oh, yeah. and then they pop, oh. cut the top, pulled it out. But I mean, Ooh. that wasn't no damage. It just went straight tissue. But um. Oh yeah, we got in trouble for that. No, I bet. <laughs> oh yeah, we we. I don't think I touched the tackle box until I got back out of the military. So, so what would what would you have done different, or what would you have picked up on, or or done? I would have learned a guitar. Your dad played a lot. Like my though. dad pick up. Anything. I think I was gonna say your dad was like my dad. Where I yeah. think it just he whatever you threw in front of me and play it. Well was that a certain banjo. generation? That's that what just I think. Played. That's okay. So that, I just had this conversation with Rose, and she said. You know, we were talking about, oh, so-and-so played, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I felt like that generation, mm-hmm. that they brought up, that's what they did. And mm-hmm. especially if you had brothers or cousins or whatever, you sat on the front porch and you played, played music. A, or a like, southern rock band called the Sassafras Band with him and his his uncle and a couple of the guys that are still around today. And then he went to the gospel band with my mom and my two of my aunts. And well, we had, I, he taught me to play... A couple songs that I played with them during the gospel. You still got the guitar, and, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I still got Yeah. Um, he taught me how to play the bass guitar. Because that's all I learned. That's what I learned on. Chords, yeah, yeah. Playing in a song. And then the dulcimer one time, which that was just strumming. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, that little thing on it where you yeah, were like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I wish I would have picked up on how to play the guitar. But you know, like we were busy, we were doing sports and stuff like yeah. that, and like that was that's what we got. That's oh, what I felt like of, our. We had plenty of time on our hands though, because uh, we didn't like nowadays. Well, we had okay. So me, <clears throat> Patrick, and my dad played, and then there was a few people kind of intermingled in here and there. Like we pick up somebody, and then somebody move or whatever, mm-hmm. and we pick somebody else up. Well, then Patrick started playing with Eric and Rocky and Stu, and so me and Dad were still playing, and then Mike and Ben. Started playing. They came over, and it was a 50-minute drive from their house to my house. So yeah. they're like, what's her band name? 50-minute drive. So we played <laughs> up at Rob's place a couple of times, and we played at the 4th of July, and we did. It was mm-hmm. fun, but it was like we were all family. And you know Dad and Mike and all them. They used to play bluegrass they like still do. nonstop. Mike and um, Mike and Sandy still play, yeah. yeah. And Ben, well, Ben does too, yeah. In Florida. 
Yeah, I wish I would have because I've got but, one of his electrics. I got an acoustic. I got the John Mellencamp guitar now, and I've yeah. got my mom's acoustic. And you're gonna have to have I'm your like, all room decked I wish I out could with play all. It. I've been thinking about doing like a YouTube, you know, you can find that stuff, or even yeah. taking lessons of Tom's. Just dude, anytime you want to play I'll, on days I'll play it, on days where it was raining or something, good, we but, we created sure. competitive sports, but oh, yeah. because <laughs> slide football, card yeah, everything. Game. But I mean, we played sports all year round, mm-hmm. every sport you can think of, and and then, like I said, if we didn't have something, we created a game. And a lot of time it was throw the ball at Billy and then beat him up. And then, dude, <laughs> okay, one night I was coming out to spend the night. And with you and Timmy out at Grassy Farm. Yeah. And I remember I had just got, like, I think Mom got me some camo or something. I was like, yeah, all right. I had sat all day and sharpened all these sticks. And I had a <laughs> bunch of pointed sticks. I don't know if I was going to use it on them we had, or if we were going to go hunting. We had but, some setups, so but he I was, knows. I was going to get something with something. You know, I was going to get, I remember getting out and Grandma was like, um, yeah, we're probably not going to take those. <laughs> I was like, I can send you my Roy Clark's notes on Dude, I like, there you go. I, I sat there with a knife all day and got them things whittled down with real sharp points. And now nah, that's because we used to <laughs> we'd sling, we'd have slingshots and forts in the woods that we'd just somebody would have ended up at the ER if we had got <laughs> with that surprise. Out there, right? <laughs> we would take Copenhagen cans and put M80s in them and fill them with sand. We'd and take you'd throw them the wall bats and you'd, oh, yeah, <laughs> you'd light those and throw them, dude. You, you, you're having this is all before the tannerite and all that stuff they have now but yeah you can beavis really... and butt did it. beavis and butt did not invent frog, frog baseball, baseball. <laughs> no. no they didn't we had us we had we slingshot trees together and use them to launch rocks and... old, old roy clark hey uh, all timmy broke his arm and the the that one thing the fort we built in the tree he finally fell out of it <laughs> i wasn't there i didn't push him we used to play a game in the winter, like heavy snow. I'd leave and get like a track 20, thing. Track you in the woods, and then you'd have to come find me. And yeah, uh, that oh, wood was like that was the best we, playground ever, man. We like, played in the woods, would, like woods. A woods. big snow, and we'd get my dad and everybody. We'd get like fifteen, twenty people. Yeah. Oh, break, this is break up into a team, and we call it fox and hound. Yeah, yeah. So we would go out and get like a yeah. fifteen, twenty minute lead, and then they. <laughs> we tried to be caught in trees. Oh yeah, you know, and and our tracks would stop. That was we, fun stuff. Yeah, that was good stuff. You, you learn to walk around a tree and then walk backwards away walk from back it. Back in your steps, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, it just it was just me and him. Yeah. So you're out in the middle, we would do five miles teams. from home, because everybody loved that. They'd be like the first snow, and they'd be calling on the landlines, you know, because we didn't have snow. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, we built I massive because they used we're to, coming out. You ready they, to do fox and hound? And they would plow in the yeah. parking lot. And you get a snowbank as high as this house, and the minute we heard school day cancel, we'd go out there with shovels and start digging <laughs> digging caves in them. Yeah. And we'd have forts set up and just bottle rocket wars yeah. and all sorts of stuff. So but had, the, we, we, the worst thing we I ever did. We grew up in the best childhood. The best we we could sled all the way down the hill. We could do all that. We would put firecrackers and Pringle skins. There you go. Done that. I launched ball rockets out the back of my Ranger at his car until I found I had a gas leak and I quit. Uh, Driving down the highway, <laughs> launching him out the back window. Yeah, it's probably dangerous. And he true. locked him up. And he's like, dude, I got a gas leak. That's I was like, not a good I'd have gotten in trouble there. for that one. I did uh, a Roman candle and it like, I was doing the drive-by and it went off in the car. I didn't have a chance to get the window down and it was like shooting oh. off in the car. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh, we, we would sled down this hill and, and have a ball in the winter. I had got that. I had found that sounds fun. Yeah, those that works. <laughs> so I did that in beer bottles. We so just blew the yeah. beer, beer bottle up. I walk all the way down that hill on a Sunday afternoon, and I had a pair of ice skates because I was like, I always liked hockey. Didn't have a chance to play, but I was like, I like the contact. Like I'm gonna learn to skate. So I walk all the way down there, the first pond by the lower house. I sit down. I have covers on. It's cold. It's snowing. I let, take my boots off, lace them up, put them nice and tight. Take two steps. The next thing you know, my mind's like, "Hey, why are your feet right there?" Oh, yeah. Dude, I hit you my head. <laughs> my on that ice. This is sunny at like three. Okay, it's gonna be dark in an hour. I gotta go back up that hill. I'm laying there like, if I don't get up, there ain't nobody gonna be here till tomorrow morning at five thirty. I'm gonna lay here and freeze to death. So I crawl to the bank and nod on the back of my head. Sat up, got my boots on, threw those over my shoulder, and as I got through with the skates and a dumpster, never touched them again. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I cracked my head on that ice. I was like, dude, that was so dumb. Walked that mile down that freaking hill. I thought I was going to die. Didn't even get checked for it. You just did it yourself. I got checked by myself. Oh, man. All right. Next, next Monday Music Hour is what? Two weeks from... Is that they've the next yet, one? You have to name the wild card, mm-hmm. right? But it is going to be the semi. It's, he must have somebody coming in this week. Okay, he so hasn't told us yet. That would be the next Monday. So two weeks for that, but uh, Monday music are being her Monday. July twenty fifth. So this next one is what fifteenth, eighteenth. So he so. must have somebody coming in. Okay, sixteenth will be out at um, Farmers Market. I'm um, thinking he told us who he had coming in, but yeah, and I can't remember. I remember him saying he's he going on vacation. We kind of just forgot. About it. Farmer's Market this Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, Teresa Master will be in soon. She's going to do a, a real estate show once a month. Um, the, we'll, we'll be at the fair. I got to get with the fair. They want us to help um, post stuff. You got to go to the fair and help set up like the tilt world and stuff? Pixie dust spreader on the tilt world. <laughs> no, the, no, the fair needs people to help post their information or winners and stuff like that their paper's not doing some stuff ah. for them so they contacted me that's why i want our website done the paper here I'm... in town well that's weird the paper from not here in town anymore yeah yeah that's mm. why i want our website done so we can do that a lot of crap going on behind the scenes here that i cannot really get into i know we mentioned some of it the other day but that room's a mess that's all i'm saying so anyway monday after music hour we'll have to hang out here and watch home Schwartz is in it. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched baseball though. I I'm sorry. I haven't know, but we watch. I watch watched Schwarber's a couple of Cubs games when Cameron came home from school, but mm-hmm. I haven't watched all much either. Can't been... do pro sports right now. I just. Cubs suck, so it's all right. Notre Dame football's coming up. They did have a little win streak, or yeah. not? Maybe not win streak, but they were well, winning they were series, like right? Four or five in a row, and yeah. then, then they won a couple of series. But they're, they're still, still at the bottom with the Reds. So. Yeah. Notre Dame to the Big Ten? Yes or no? Buying or selling. If they take them and Clemson, they need on, to be in a conference. Then that's going to end up. Clemson's going to go SEC. You're going to have SEC and you're going to have Big Ten, mm-hmm. and that's going to be your winners. Going to be your championship. I mean, yeah, that's with the USC jumping into Big Ten, get Notre Dame. In. My only thing on this is the teams like IU and your Maryland's. Contreras have happened. I heard that, but I mean, I knew that, but I just I don't watch any of the games. But all your Second tier mm-hmm. teams of the Big Ten, forget it. You're, yeah. you're never, you're not, you're never going to beat USC, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Michigan. Well, and like Notre Dame, Penn State right now, to win a Big Ten ACC, title ever. They they did that. It helped all their other sports, I'm sure. But for football, they I think they only have to play like four or five conference games, so they still kept that. Now, if they, they went to but the they Big go 10, now. They got to go. Full. I was going to say if they go to the Big Ten and they do that, that's going to be a full fledged two conference. This person's going to the national champion. This person's going to the national championship, and that's yeah, it's, yeah. that's Take what like it's all going to be. Take like Iowa; they're in the West now. You could you you could, could possibly have wait, Wisconsin was there, and Iowa was there. Normally, the two that battle it out. Now you could have Notre Dame, USC, and UCLA, and maybe Oregon in that Western division. But I, I heard Oregon's not. So they're taking another. It might be Stanford, Oregon, Oregon State, someone from out west. Hmm. But I mean, there's no way you're going to win that division. Mm-hmm. Bowl games are screwed completely, hundred percent. Well, the bowl games are going to be completely your second tier. They, they're not. You're not going to get. The... But I mean, how do you decide a champion? Who gets to go? You win well, the SEC. You, well, you're. Why to, would you play anybody else anyway? Well, you're going to have to. You're going to have to win that SEC, and then you're going to have to win the Big Ten, like they do it. You know, and then that's those two teams. Are and going the sad to thing is, you put twenty teams in a bracket. You like, let's say the East, let's say they put Notre Dame in the East and you've got Ohio State, Penn State, Notre Dame, Michigan, Michigan State in that bracket. If you survive that, then you got to go beat USC. And then you got to beat Alabama. Or yeah, and then you got to go beat Alabama. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway. All right. I didn't know that. I didn't hear it, Oregon. I heard the Notre Dame. Yeah, th- there was a one time at Oregon, Oregon State, and then it was Oregon and Stanford. Then it was. Stanford and somebody else. Hmm. They're wanting another West Coast team. Well, I was wondering why Oregon wasn't in with the USC thing because they're at least a money draw. They're wanting the maker. Nike money. And then, well, yeah. And I'm sure that's kind of like Notre Dame's got that same setup with the TV and Adidas or, or who, Under Armour or whoever but they that's got That's the issue is Notre Dame. They said they'll lose money 
because these other schools now won't be able to play him. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Does that is the USC Notre Dame is that done? But here's my thing about USC, and I I hate him for this. First of all, it's a rival. Yeah. They would not come to Notre Dame any later than the end of September. Right. And you because they know because of cold, cold and, be and cold. They so the, all the games at Notre Dame versus USC were an early start of the season. They, then they send Notre Dame out there late in the year, yep. every all the time. Well, and when a loss is going to hurt you the most, yeah. Too, so now what do they do? They got to go to Michigan in late November, or they got to go to Penn State or Wisconsin. Or you know Iowa. what? You know what that'll do though. That will, and it could because a lot of people. Like I feel like go to those southern state schools yeah. because of the weather. 100%. Now, now all of a sudden, if you're playing now, maybe Notre Dame starts starts pulling back some of those recruits again because it's like they well, had you a top know, five class this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were making a big deal about since Kelly's gone, the recruiting kind of yeah. bumped a little. More concerned about football, basketball than football. Plus, some of the schools don't have wrestling. Big Ten doesn't have beach volleyballs. They have to stay in the Pac-12. I don't know if they're going to go all sports right off the bat, but, I mean, eventually, it it makes for a heck of a basketball. Is now UCLA's in the Big Ten. Wow. I mean. And USC. Yeah. Anyway. Is it it just football right now? I think they were focusing on football. Because that's a game changer in basketball. Yeah. Football's your biggest money draw. And leaps and bounds. Number one in Big Ten right now. Yeah. Freaks, I mean. And basketball? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't buying into that crap anymore. Oh, <laughs> every I mean, every year. What's up, Mike? I, I get disappointed. Jack, oh, the Jack football. Davis, so they're all back. They're all back, yeah. and they got some new guys too. Though. Yeah, they got a couple. Well, a five star, four star. Shoot. Because well, that's what they need. Because some kid named Jimmy Chitwood. <laughs> right. <laughs> Steve, and they got, and they got Stephen guy, Alford or something like who that. Who was from it? Newcastle? I was watching Scotty Pippen. Said the other day, did you see that? He said that, uh, like the players today, like the way the game is, the shooting, how how the three point exactly, shot Christine. is um, so relevant now. <laughs> like he was feeling like that basketball today is more challenging because it's faster pace. Where I think where he said they're better era, in shape. Well, I feel like. When they played, it was tougher just because it was meaner, and it was like it. Yeah. You 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 didn't get foul calls like you no. get foul no. calls. Bill Lambert and Larry Bird going at it every time they. They get in a fist fight, and there'd be not a technical Robert, call. Nobody kicked punch out. Lambert. Just, nobody got well, kicked no, out. Like he literally punched. Drive him. the lane on a team in the eighties and the nineties, and you're gonna get knocked yeah. out. And they didn't. Sometimes you get a call. Sometimes you didn't. And now you get you get that call like now you get touched at I mean, the ten second line they you call a foul. Jerry Seastein in here about him and Ralph Sampson. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Hey, cool story about I know you're not watching Cubs, but Contreras, his brother. Yeah, that's cool. They're both playing is in the All Star game. Is he in Atlanta? Is that right? Or? Mm-hmm. Hot but Atlanta. He's, he's got called to the All Star game because uh, what's his name's hurt. Uh, Bryce Harper. Oh yeah, so he, he got come up as a DH, so he's because they're both catchers. So Contreras is starting catcher, but nice. his brother's the starting DH. So where is it at this year? The All Star game, LA, I think. Okay, not Dodgers. I think it's Angels. Okay, or maybe not. They said Los Angeles. So I don't two, know. two of the best talents ever in baseball, and their team will never win a playoff game. <laughs> Angels. <laughs> Otani. Yeah, Mike Trout's hurt. So Otani and Trout. Yeah, Trout's hurt. Trout hurt his back. He was. They say he was not playing carrying time. that team. That dude's unreal, though. That's how I always felt like. So is that Otani? Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Good to see Schwarber hitting twenty eight. Athlete like him. Babe Ruth. That's a good pitcher. Babe Ruth. And can hit the crap out of the ball. Yeah. Schwarber's got 27 or 28 home runs. Yeah, no, it's a 28, right? I'm glad they traded him. I'm glad they let him walk. Yeah, because Rizzo's yeah. got 25. 25, yeah. yeah. Now, Bryant and Bias Bryant's, have done nothing. No, Bryant's, Bryant's had like five hurt, home right? runs this yeah. week. Oh, has he? He's, He's been, been injured. injured. Oh. He's been injured. And so the Rockies going to make a run now? He hit two off Baumgartner from, at, uh, against Arizona or, so, or against, yeah, Arizona. I, I hope he ran Baumgartner. because if he didn't, he was going to tell about charged, it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he has How old is Baumgartner? Huh? How old is he? He's got to be done after this year. I think he signed up. That dude was a workhorse, though, back in the day. 
be like Ariana. Ariana was a workhorse, and then all of a sudden he just went. Yeah, I know that feeling. All right, y'all. Anything closing, Billy? No. Hour and forty-five minutes. <laughs> Brian came back with a see three home run. He had a two home run game, yeah, and then he hit another one the next day, and then that's all you hear on Sports Center now. Brian's back. And he struck out two. Yeah, I don't even really hardly watch regular TV anymore. I don't, like, I don't even like. I actually put it on Good Morning Football this morning, and Kay Adams isn't even on it. What's like, that? What it, that? It's on um, um, the ESPN the Football Channel, not ESPN. It's NFL the, it's Network. The, yeah, NFL Network. It's in the mornings, but like they usually have got like a good lineup. Well, she's not on it anymore, and one of the dudes were gone, and uh, yeah, so it's like that's even different. It's like well, I watch Josh Gates. <laughs> and I watch uh, Northwood Law, Louisiana Law, Texas Law, um, um, Storage Wars. Oh yeah, I watch Shipping Wars. Chopped. That's my. Yeah. I heard Storage Wars. Is like I watch Bobby Flay. Like professional wrestling, it's all staged. It is. But I, I, I can watch Josh Gates and he, and then of course. Oh, you know what Josh Gates on. is? What's that? Oh, Expedition Unknown. Expedition and, Unknown. And, uh, Discovery. Where he goes and tries to find Amelia Earhart, and where he goes and tries to find Bigfoot. John Dillinger. Where he, he was here in Mooresville last year. Or year oh, before. okay, okay. Because Shane Williams found artifacts or something, so they come. Now he and he's uncovered a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. He's found some interesting stuff throughout his travels. Well, that one I watched tonight, where the three guys Alcatraz escaped Alcatraz and supposedly went to Brazil and South America and lived. And there was no proof. Well, they found proof. The best one was that hunting Hitler was with oh, Tim was Kennedy. Kennedy. That was I follow Kennedy on well, everything. But... What show was that? That's just a net. That's a Netflix show. It was uh no, it was on regular TV. Oh, but it's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. hunting, but, hunting Hitler. Yeah, whatever. and he. They, See, I follow that dude on Twitter. Josh, since, yes, exactly. Since Destination Truth, love him. <clears throat> yeah. I follow uh, Tim Kennedy on Twitter. He's he's a maniac. Yeah, he's, but he. What was funny was they had to go to one of the little. See, villages and, that was a that was the original that's, that name, was rich, yeah, it? That's but, now it's, but when they change networks he can't take that with him that belongs to that expedition unknown yeah and expedition then, truth and yeah uh, it was all kinds of different names kennedy's down there in some little village in south america and they've got all this evidence that you it's just yeah, damn near locked know? that netflix that yeah. hitler Look was there I hitler okay it's but a good show. i but think if i've you, seen if that you pop pay up attention before. who's with him it's him and this other because it makes you it makes you. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. 100%. It really makes you think that Hitler survived and lived. Yeah. Where? Where do you? Venezuela somewhere. Venezuela? Or Argentina. Yeah. One of the two. And they they find people that was still alive in that era. But, that, but the two dudes. Like, yeah, he. There was somebody. The two guys that are standing there talking to the little guy, and they're like, "Well, I don't know if you'll I'll let you be able to let you guys in." I'm like, Tim Kennedy's prior special yeah. forces, and the guy with him's a prior Green Beret. If they went in, they're gonna get in somehow. Yeah. And they go out in the boat, and he jumps out of the boat and swims to the shore, and, and goes up in that. They, they found a germ, like German barracks and all sorts of. It's unbelievable how much Nazi stuff was down there. And that's hunting Hitler. Yeah, look that up. Hunting, it was on and the History the, Channel. The, there's so many options that he could have taken to get to leave Berlin, and there's a couple that they're like Catholic Church was involved and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's um, what's his name? Uh, the big the the fugitive manhunter guy. Um, him and the FBI guy are the guys back in D.C. and New York that are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dog man. the bounty hunter. No, but this guy's <laughs> this guy's bad. He did the fugitive manhunter thing. It was in based out of New York City, and they were always. He had the, I just he was the Tim Kennedy big dude. Guy. They don't mess around. Yeah, and then they talk to people too that. Scared to death to even talk about it. Oh yeah, uh, you're gonna make me have to watch it. No, no, it's so I good. Was like, no, Especially when the, I mean, with, I can't, you look at the evidence that they got in still Germany. Still scared of Nazi stuff oh, really? to this day. Yeah, like, you get you look at what they got out of Germany. Just watch Germany. that show. Just yeah. watch it. Yeah, I don't want to spill it. <laughs> All right. And then once they get to South America, is it like they, a bunch of episodes? Or I think it is. It's it's, it's a series, right? Yeah, I'm gonna. That was a ton of series. A yeah, ton of was, I think it's multiple um, seasons too. Okay. It's a long, um, long. It'll it'll take you a while to watch it. Okay, <clears throat> but it was good because it. Under uh, now, man, they just how he escaped, how he got here, how he done this, what, and they, it's it makes you wonder. Lenny DePaul, he's okay, the yeah. he's the he's the he's the 
a fugitive task force hunter out of New York. What was the Green Berets? Uh, John Sinek. John Rambo. Uh, you got a Gerald <laughs> Williams. You got a Robert Bear. I think he was a GB. Mm-hmm. And maybe that Mike Simpson. But there's a lot of special forces guys in there. But Kennedy's there, and he's the, him and Lenny DePaul are the best. I think Kennedy's fought in some UFC stuff or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. He got his head beat in a few yeah. times. He still he's, trains. He's a, yeah. Follow him on Twitter. He's he's hilarious. He's an animal. All right, y'all. It's a good series. It's Tomorrow, Thursday? Tomorrow's Thursday? I don't even know. Man. Is it? Thursday, Thursday. Thursday, even, today's... Up, up I don't even know where yep, I'm at. Wednesday the 13th. All right, y'all. Thank you all for the stars. That's pretty bad. Love you guys. Um, I'll probably be back on some point in time this week. Have a good night. We will see you soon.